I've got a first time viewer. Well, hello everybody. It is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl. And I am so thrilled to welcome you all to another fabulous bling party tonight. We have a great assortment of stuff. And I am so excited about all of the uh, vintage pieces we've got. We've got some sterling and some other amazing things coming your way. And uh, also, most importantly, we have my other half of the sale who just makes everything so wonderful. We've got Mr. Nate in from New Zealand. Nate, so good to see you tonight. So good to see you too and everyone in the chat. My favorite day of the week. I always look forward to Sunday, well, my Sunday, your Saturday. Um, so I'm delighted to be here as always. Nate, do I do I bother you when I say you're in the future? Do you get tired of me? <laughs> no. Well, we are we are in the future here. So yeah. I, you know So Nate maybe needs to predict the lottery numbers. I yeah. was thinking about that the other day. Like I should buy a lottery ticket and then let Nate pick the numbers because I, I have a feeling that maybe that would be lucky. <laughs> you can um see Poodle in the alley for the latest um lottery numbers that comes under her management package. Exactly. So yeah, please go talk to Poodle. And uh, I want to welcome everyone in the chat and just give another shout out to a dear friend of mine, uh, Jenny. Thank you so much for tuning in each week and watching. We just really appreciate you. And it was so good to finally meet you in person. So um, thank you for being one heck of a super fan. <laughs> Jenny, who is uh, your stepmother, Lara's brother's wife's mother. If you I forgot that got right. it, Nate. <laughs> wow, look at you go. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, so we'll say some hellos in the chat. We've got Pam Avery in tonight. Welcome, Pam. Hello. Welcome, Pam. And Monica is here as well. Hello, Monica. Hi, Monica. Welcome in. And then uh, Heidi's here. Heidi from Belgium. Hi, Heidi. You know, it always amazes me, Nate, how many folks we have scattered, not only across the country, but around the world. If you had asked me two years ago or three years ago, really, you know, would you know anyone in New Zealand or do you know anyone in New Zealand? I would have said no. And quite honestly, I probably wouldn't have given New Zealand as a as a country much thought because I'm all the way over here in Florida. And, it, you know, it just doesn't cross my mind unless I would see something specifically about it. And now... I get to not only do sales with someone from New Zealand, but call them a dear friend. And then to get people from all around the world in the chat, it just always amazes me. It's so cool. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Heidi um, paints in watercolor. She's got some lovely paintings she posts on her Instagram account. Oh, well, guys, do go check that out. That sounds like something I would really like. So I'm going to have to get that account and follow along if I'm not already. Uh, let's see. Pam Avery, we said hello to. You're already here. Uh, Monica is here. Welcome, Monica. Yeah, we've got more. We've done Monica as well, but we haven't said hello to LaDonna. Hi, LaDonna. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Hi, LaDonna. We're glad you're here. And then Angela. Hi, Flange. <laughs> Angela has now started referring to me as Nathan rather than Nate. Oh, and, um, so yeah, you'll see she keeps on calling me Nathan, which she knows sort of annoys me <laughs> slightly. Although most people here call me Nathan. It's usually my American friends and my mother calls me Nate. Um, my brother, of course, as you know, calls me Tiffany, which is cool as I refer to him as Margaret. <laughs> well, Angela, just don't call Nate Nathan from Australia because then you'll really have, <laughs> have a whole problem on your hands. Wow. <laughs> that would be terrible. All right. Lisa Day is here. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome in, Lisa. And Toby Yander, first time in. Hi. Welcome, Toby. Lovely to have you here. Oh, what a cute photo. A little bouncing that baby. Oh, that baby sweet. is adorable. Welcome in, Toby, buddy. Toby, we are so glad to have you. A big welcome to the Vintage and Vinyl family. You'll find that all of our chat friends here are super friendly. So just dive right on into the chat and if you don't feel like diving in just yet that's okay you can work and lurk or hang out and lurk we love our lurkers and people in the background as well because i do that while i'm getting stuff done in my house so welcome to everyone whether you're in the chat or just behind the scenes we love you all and thank you for being here uh let's see Ladonna says oh um 
That's a different comment. Let's see. We've got Danny Lewis. Welcome, Danny. A new name as well. Welcome in, Danny Lewis. Thank you for joining us. We are glad to have all of our new folks tonight. How exciting. Yes, this is the Swedish chat peeps. And, yeah. and Monica, you're so right. We really have such a stellar group of people here. <laughs> and Greg is here. Welcome, Greg. Hey, Budster. Lovely to see you. Welcome in. Hey, Pamela. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Pamela Blanchard. Thank you, Pam, for always shouting us out and sending people our way. We really appreciate it. And I missed yet another sale. My phone has decided it doesn't want to charge. So I have been having some charging issues, and I've been uh, in every room of my house trying every charger and every power bank known to man. And my phone is right now sitting there with the Apple logo. So that's a little scary and frightening. Um, so uh, hopefully things are working. I, I just, I, to me, there's always some technology issue around here, but hopefully things will be all smooth sailing once uh, the phone gets working. I don't know what that is about. Maybe it's just overworked. I don't know. <laughs> Claire is here. Welcome, Claire. Welcome and Claire. Lovely to see you too. Um, and my bud Joe S is here. Welcome and Joe. Lovely to see you as well. And Lisa. Welcome, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And then Joe, we said hello to. And Sally is here. Hi. Welcome, Sally. Hi, Sally. Patricia with Sean is here as well. Welcome, Patricia. Hi, Patty Cake. And we've got Desert Gal Curios. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome in, Desert Gal. I'm not sure if I can. I can't remember Desert Gal's name. I know. I want I want to say a name, but I don't think it's right. So Desert Gal, please remind me of your name because it's late and uh, I, my memory is not the, the greatest at this hour. So thank you so much for reminding us. Lisa and, is here. Hi, Lisa. And Lisa, welcome in. Lovely to see you. And right above that is Angela calling me Nathan. Oh, there we go. I think this is the start of a Nate yeah. and Nathan war. Wow. <laughs> And we've got Dana here tonight. Welcome, Dana. Hiya, Dana. Welcome in. And Denise is here. Welcome, Denise. Hiya, Denise. And Kelly is here as well. Welcome, Welcome Kelly. Kelly. Lovely to see you. Kelly, I, I sent you something in the mail. I do hope that you received it. It was just a little a little friend mail thing, but um, I'm, I'm really hoping you like that. That was more so from Nate, but I just helped facilitate it, so... I hope you enjoy that. Um, and let's see who else is in the so chat. This is here. So we still haven't tracked down that ring. And when I do get it, I'm going to want to test it first before I put it up for sale. But it, I, th I think it's the size that you would ask for, and it's quite a big stone. Um, so I'm hoping that you're going to like it. But I do want to um, find it, locate the thing, and give it a quick test. And speaking of testing, I went to a gym and mineral show today. If you want to see a little sneak peek of that, I posted it on my Instagram stories. But Nate was in hog heaven. I called Nate and uh, I, I sent him copious amounts of pictures of the sheer volume of loose gemstones that they had at one particular booth. And they were doing cutting and setting and everything right in front of you. And it was just the most magical thing. This place was in the Expo Center downtown. So imagine like almost a convention center size of nothing but minerals and spheres and stones and sterling and rings. It was magnificent and marvelous. I wish I had more time to just scour over everything. But but Nate, what were you excited about uh, picking up today that I grabbed for you? Uh, there was a really beautiful um, faceted opal. Um, that had just a most beautiful green and um, blue sort of a base color with great f flashes of red, which is what you want in opals. And an almondite, which I, I, I've never even heard of. It's a type of volcanic glass. And it was a nice, um, clear, pale blue sample. Um, I wasn't even familiar with it, but it was inexpensive. And um, I thought it was really pretty. Lovely cut. Well, that's exciting. Yes, they had these enormous bins. They were almost like letter size bins full of nothing but those little gym cases that Nate shares on Instagram and everything was 75% off. It was 
just yeah. mind blowing. Like you could have spent 10 years there going through everything. It was great. And not to mention all the really top class stuff that they had in their cabinets. They had some beautiful watermelon tourmaline, some fantastic emeralds. Um, oh, just so many. The, the, the aquamarines were beautiful. The garnets were stunning. I, I could have made myself a very poor man in that place. <laughs> Yes, and, and I got some more rutilated quartz because you guys know I'm obsessed with that. And they had, I oh man, I don't, my phone's not working at this moment, so I can't show a picture. But I got the most incredible orange calcite in a sphere, which was amazing. And the lady, she sold other things. So she didn't sell uh, spheres per se. She sold sphere holders. And I picked up the sphere and I said, is this for sale? And she goes, oh, yeah, we have to weigh it. And I thought, oh, okay, it's either going to be weighed and cost a million dollars or cost nothing. Well, she weighed it and she goes, oh, I'm really sorry, but this is going to have to be $15. All of $15. I'm like, that would be 75 at any other booth. So it was a steal of a deal. So that came home with me today, yeah. too. Virginia okay. is here with us. Hello, Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Welcome in. And then we have um, Eclectic Deb. Welcome in. Welcome back. It's been a long time since I've seen you. <laughs> Angela says Damn it, Ange. <laughs> That is so true. If you had ever seen one of my um, early uh, videos on my ch channel with Patrick um, Daring and with Katie, we used to do a series together. And I showed a video, and it is, you find that a lot of maps just have omitted New Zealand. It's like we just don't exist. Which is so sad uh, because New Zealand definitely exists, and we have a real live New Zealander coming in tonight for our sale. So come on, they, people. New they, Zealand's on the map. They used that in um, sort of tourist advertisements with one of our quite famous comedians and our then prime minister in this tourism ad. It was very, very funny. Lamar, handsome Lamar Jeffries. Welcome in, Lamar. Lovely to see you. Lovely to have you, Lamar. We're so glad you're here. Good to see you again. Monica says, I look very springy and pretty. Thank you. I do love the lavender today. This is actually one of my favorite shirts, and it just came back from the cleaners. So that's exciting because it's all nice and smooth and fun to wear. <laughs> and Delbert is here. Welcome, hey, Delbert. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's his picture this time? <laughs> handsome. Handsome in his probably his early 30, late 20s, early 30s. You look handsome. great, Delbert. Great photo. We, Delbert changes his photos all the time, which I just love. And let's see. Tammy is here. Welcome, Tammy. Hey, Taminator. Hi, sweetheart. And let's see who else. Jennifer Lab Mama's here. Yay. Oh. I think I caught uh, Jennifer Lab Mama's first YouTube sale with um, Yvonne from Thrifty Rich. Um, That's did a great job. Yeah, that was a really interesting sale. Lovely to see. Well, congrats, Jennifer, on your first sale. That's very exciting. And always is fun to sell. But of course, I tell you, it gets easier the more you do it. <laughs> Uh, Prairie Stone is here. Welcome, Prairie. We're glad to have Welcome. you working. Welcome, and Karen, lovely to see you. And my friend Sheila Putman is here. Hi, um, Sarah and I are here tonight. Hi, Sarah. Lovely to have you here. How lovely. Um, uh, Sarah is um, Sheila's daughter, and um, I know that um, Sheila has bought brooches and things specifically for um, Sarah, and I think that Sarah's favorite color is purple. I think I think it's purple. You'll have to um, correct me if I'm wrong. It could be pink, but I think it's purple. So lovely to have you both. What a treat. It is such a treat. So welcome, Sarah and Sheila. We're glad to have you here. And Homeschool Lou is back. Welcome. Hey, Lou. Lovely to see you. And we, we went over Mary Duggan. Oh, no. We I'm sorry. Over Mary. Hi, Mary. Lovely to see you. And look at that cute little papa. I was going to say, is that a doggo? Because he's adorable. Is. He's adorable. <laughs> what a sweet puppy. Let's see here. Kathy Nightholt is here. Hi, Kathy. Welcome in. And let's see. LaDonna says, Katie, I managed to snag a really cool pottery bird brooch the other day. How cool is that, LaDonna? 
I'd love to see a picture of it. You'll have to send me. I I had a yellow bird that was made from stained glass and it was the cheeriest little bird. And notice how I say was because Mr. Little Bird had an accident. Yep. I washed him in the wash machine the other day. I know Nate's like, oh, there we go. Katie's clumsy again. I am. Dear Lord. But luckily, the bird survived. It's just the pin back came off of it. So I'm going to have to take him to the jewelers. But he is just the curious little thing. And I love him so much. So I've got to get him fixed. But um, I love birds. I think they're very, very happy in brooches. <laughs> and we go down to our ah, four Sandy. Sandy is here from Four Sandy's Lilacs. Welcome, and Sandy. Lovely to see you. Got a couple of pieces of sterling in here if you're interested. I received it. Apologies for the delay. I've been working over late and then garden when I get home. Opening this weekend. I hope you like the little thing. It was just something that I found online. No worries, Kelly. I just wanted to make sure you got it because the post office has been really weird lately. My grandmother ordered some olive oil for my brother for Christmas. He loves all the tasting olive oils. And uh, we have been round and round with this particular company trying to figure out where the olive oil has disappeared to. And so now I'm checking up more so on shipments as I'm hearing from people at the post offices having struggles again. Uh, we ordered it from, okay, Angela, see if I'm saying this right, Hamacher Schlammer. Did I get that right? The catalog company? I might be just totally way off, but <laughs> we, we, we are on the, the case with the olive oil that's gone missing. <laughs> Trisha Wishon says, Nate, you need to come to Tucson. Yeah, I'd love to go to that gem show in Tucson, oh. Arizona. I would I would love that. A couple of my suppliers um I did some filming in the last at the last Tucson a Tucson, Arizona show and it was it looked spectacular. I'd so love to go there. I would Nancy. love to do that. Nancy Smith, my friend Nancy. Welcome in, Nancy. Lovely to see you. And oh, Gay. Gay is here. Welcome, Gay. Oh, lovely to see you. That's my cousin, my cousin Gay. Um, lovely sunny afternoon here. It is a nice afternoon. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to cough. It no, excuse is. me. It's a nice afternoon here. It's been a, a deplorable gray uh, morning. Lovely to see you as always. That's my um, special cousin who is also on um, Instagram who she's an artist a jeweler a jewelry teacher an art teacher furniture designer and maker all around spectacular person um I did at one stage as a child ask gay to marry me I think I was about, I think I was about 10 or 11 or something um she'll she'll probably be able to tell what type age I was but yeah I've always absolutely adored gay I had a crush on a boy when I was like eight years old and he proposed to me on the playground with a candy pop ring. And I said, no, I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're still playing the field. Good on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Had to keep the options open, right? <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Susan, welcome, welcome. Hi, Susan. Lovely to see you. Oh, Poodle is here as well. I know Poodle Ooh. sent me a message after the last one saying, I'm really sorry I fell asleep. We know how late it is and that's all right. Um, but it's lovely to see you. Good to see and you, Poodle. That means the alley is open for business, for merchandise, um, locks of hair, <laughs> recorded yep. messages, all can be available. Yes, anything that Poodle has regarding Nate, she is the person to see because I'm sure she has some things that aren't advertised. That you'll and you can see about. Gay has called me Nathan, so <laughs> um, that doesn't give you and the go-ahead. No, only certain people can call Nate Nathan and I always just call that sounds weird even for me to say it I can't I, you're always Nate to me <laughs> yeah. that's, that's so weird on the tongue I don't know uh, Gina is here welcome Gina oh Gina hi sweetheart lovely to see you and I was talking with oh my best friends here my other best friend Oh, Chastity. Chastity, who broke the red jewelry boxes here? My favorite Chastity. <laughs> well, we had the she had the chance to chat with uh, Chastity just yesterday, I think it was, um, and her partner. Oh, what's that handsome dude's name? Jacob. J Jacob. Yeah, I had, I had a chance to have a video chat where that was such such such, such a nice time. Lovely to see you, Chaz. Yeah, it, it really was. That was a treat to kind of meld both of my worlds together. 
Chassie's my my local best friend here that that lives near me, and um, it was just so good getting to hang out with her again, you know, and go to all my old haunts in Palatka, get some good some good Nico's Pizza. Love that place. Yeah, and Chastity, it's always nice talking to Chastity because she always lies through her teeth and says hi, handsome, which I know she's lying about, but I still like to hear it. And, and Nate loves your voice. He he remembers Nate to the states. I did that cracked me up when we were on the video call, and Jacob goes, "Oh, hey, Nate, that's Nate to the states." <laughs> He's like, I've been watching all these live sales and Jacob never comments. So I had no idea he was just like lurking in the background while he was doing stuff and playing this game. Apparently he's been hanging out watching live sales. I'm like, you go. <laughs> it just cracked me up. I'm like, yep, Jacob, that's that's the one. Hey, Jacob, buddy, if you're listening. Oh, <laughs> Georgia's here. Hi, Georgia. Our published author is in the house. Lovely to see you. Oh, Patricia yeah. took over the alley the other yeah. night. Yes, when Poodle was away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. Sarah's favorite color is purple. I thought it was purple. I'm so glad I got that right. And Gavin is here, my my wonderful Gavin. I have not gotten a chance, Gavin, to watch your videos. I was down in Palaka with my friend, um, helping her with some some things. They had a death in the family, and so. Uh, I was kind of busy with that, but I am anxious to see all your videos and messages uh, on Instagram very soon. Um, hey, guys, uh, lovely to see you, buddy. And, and Karen, you. Karen, who is um, Gaza's wife, lovely to see you too. Let's see. Angela, you're the one that taught me how to say the hammaker schlammer thing because you said you get catalogs sometimes <laughs> at the pharmacy. We had a whole conversation about it. and. And I remember thinking, oh, wow, I'm not saying that right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. You, it's, you are so not allowed to go to a stone and gym, a stone and gym stone and the dragon would go bad. Yeah, both Guy and I have dragons within us when it comes to gemstones. <laughs> and um, Guy has some fantastic gemstones and makes spectacular jewelry. Um and I, 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 half of me really wants to show off my gemstones to Gay, and the other half wants to hide them in case she wants them. I need to give them to her, which just it, it, I've done. I've given her a couple, but um, yeah. Well, I've heard the Tucson show. My mom was talking to a, a seller today. We went together, and he said the Tucson show. You really have to know your favorite vendors because he said it's it's like multiple buildings and multiple yeah. levels. Apparently yeah. it's enormous. So oh, we just had a incident with our light falling over. Oh, the, the guys that I was following who went there, it's it's not only the venues, which there are a ton of them over multiple levels, it's the all the motels. And they rent out the motels and they open the motel door and they sell from their motel rooms, their hotel rooms. It's just crazy. I've been to theater conferences like that where you go and then the, the vendors all sell out of the hotel rooms and it's sort of like you just go by, you know, at, at night and you go in and everybody's just, they, they call it like a hotel room hall or something. They have a name for it, but it's like after seven, all the doors are just open and you can go buy like all kinds of gear and stuff. And um, yeah, that's very cool. Uh, let's see. Matthew. Matthew's hey, Matthew, buddy. Lovely to see you. Patricia yeah, Wilson says, hey, I love the Nathan. Oh, there's Karen Chase and Vintage, who I was lucky enough to host for dinner. Um, and that was just so much fun. Nerve-wracking for me, cooking for guests. But it was so much fun to meet her and her partner, Curtis. Oh, Donna says she's in Tucson, and the gym show brings in so many people from all countries. That's exciting. Yeah. Hi, Donna. Lovely. That's an, I think that's a new name to me as well, Donna Kusuk. Welcome in, Donna. Lovely to see you. I think so. And let's see. Uh, Amy says, hello, Katie and Nate got caught up on the editing of video. Good. I'm glad you can pop in and say hello, Amy. I was talking hey. to Amy hey. this week about a brooch. Hey, Amy. Lovely to see you. And there's Gay just above it said, yes, you were 10. And I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Gay is truly the most fantastic human being. Um, her husband, Ross, is the sweetest and nicest, nicest guy. And her kids are fantastic. And her grandkids. It's so weird to think of Gay as having grandkids. 
but because I always think of her as being so young. Katie, I keep our local post office staff happy by giving them home baked brownies. One time, a package was missing that I mailed from the post office, and they found. Wow. Well, I, you know, I have been. It has been over eight years since I've lived in this part of Jacksonville, and I have been desperately desperately trying to win over the lady at my post office the first time in eight years this lady finally smiled at me i have made it my mission every time i go in to brighten her day but she is just in such a terrible mood that she never smiles and i'm sure because people are just awful and ugly to her that she's just struggling so much to find any joy I feel really sorry for her, but I am, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring her some brownies and say, hey, thank you. Because every time she has to go get another bin because it's always full. And then I have to dump in my packages. And it always seems like an inconvenience for her. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to make her smile. That's my mission. <laughs> okay, she says, dress me in leather and smack me. I'll try to remember. <laughs> no, sweetheart, you can call me Nathan if you want to. Okay, let's see here. Who else? We Maria's here, and I and think we're shut up. up. <laughs> and she's there. Shut up, Nathan. <laughs> oh, Maria, empty Edward. nesting. Maria, lovely to see you. And Edward, handsome Edward, El Unico Uno. Hey, buddy, lovely to see you. Wordsmith is here. He's he's hey. an NPR voice. Hey, Wordsmith, lovely to see you too. Susan Romy is here. Welcome, welcome. Joan Plavier is here as well. Welcome in, Joan. Lovely to see you. And Mom is here. Hello, Mom. Uh, Jeannie, you were going to tell Jeannie that oh, your yes. phone is dead and not for her not to worry if she can't get through to you on the phone. Yeah, Mom, my phone's having some issues. I don't know if it's what's going on, but I'm having issues with it. So email me if you're really in the need to reach me. Otherwise, um, hopefully it will start working again soon. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, let's see. Chrissy is here and Bill made it. Yay. Hey, Chrissy. Hi, Bill. Lovely to see you. Patricia says, been to Tucson show twice. You can spend a week there and not see everyone you have on your list. It's amazing. Wow, that's just crazy. Wow. I would have to research people in advance. Like, I don't know it, that that would, I don't get easily overwhelmed at big events because I'm sort of used to it now with all the antique shows and things, but that probably would be like, whoa. <laughs> Um, uh, Wordsmith says, no, you have a great NPR voice going on. What's an NPR voice? Uh, yeah, National Public Radio. If oh. you don't, yeah, you've got a great radio voice, Nate. Oh, thanks, buddy. I think my accent is kind of cringy, but um, people sometimes tell me that they like it. I love it, Nate. It's smooth as butter. Butter. <laughs> smooth <laughs> as butter. And yes, I am allergic to the real lavender, sadly. So I, I can wear lavender colors, but I I cannot have lavender. Uh, Jacob and Chastity, who are in the chat tonight, my, my friends from Palatka, they always joke in the grocery store and send me photos of lavender trash bags saying that we can't buy these because we'll kill Katie. <laughs> and I won't actually probably have any, you know, severe thing from the trash bags but definitely lavender and i do not get along <laughs> uh chrissy says nate what was the cut of the topaz on instagram I, I posted a topaz yesterday was it the blue one if it was the the blue swiss blue one uh that's kind of a newish kind of cut and um i've seen them referred to as concave i've seen them referred to as laser um, and when I bought that one, it was, it was described as drunken laser. Wow. Um, so it, um, it, it's a it's a really beautiful stone. It's such a lovely quality stone. I can't remember. I think it was like 30 or 20 or 30 carats or something. I posted wow. another one today of, of a magnificent Smith Bar cut um, cognac uh, citrine. That's about 60 carats. Um, and I'm just so delighted with that stone. Gay says that you have a classic. <laughs> it's, 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 I tell you, when I lived in, in Australia for 20 years, when I came back, I would cringe when I'd, I'd listen to the news. And I thought, oh, this is just such a cringy accent. 
no. It, it's like the British accent. It's super sexy. It's, oh. it's, it's a good yeah. accent. All foreign accents or overseas accents are just delightful to Americans because our voices, to me, you know, of course, we have different dialects and things that are wonderful, but a lot of things are very plain here. And for us, it's novel and exciting. And uh, I love it. Poodle says that she makes a salary off of your voice, Nate. That is <laughs> the alleyway oh. would be nothing without you. <laughs> Heidi says she can't stay. She's falling asleep. Nighty night, oh, Heidi. Heidi. Um, I um, hope you have a, a great night's sleep. Uh, no, it's really cold over there at the moment. Um, but she says, tell us about the millionth cut. Is that what it's called? I'm not sure what the millionth cut is. I was telling mom today that you got a pixel cut. Oh, the pixel oh. cut. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's a Smith bar cut, and that's a, a really new facet. And um, they call it a pixel cut because it looks like a pixelated computer screen. The way it's on, it's posted on my. Um, I posted it just a couple of hours ago. It is the most beautiful quality stone. I, I when I bought it, I was absolutely in love with it. Um, I was so delighted. I got it a really nice price. The same seller had a different smaller cut, half like thirty carat, a different fancy cut, which I'm not sure what that was called. Um, and I wanted that one as well, but it went for I think almost three times the the price of the larger example that I got. So I I felt like I did okay with it. That's wonderful. All right. Well, I say we get into our yep. first giveaway. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Our first giveaway tonight is fantastic. It is a lovely little um, bar brooch. And I am really excited to bring some fun giveaways tonight. So we will have three throughout the show. And this is our first one. Nate, how do the folks at, at home win this? Oh. Okay, uh, you do not need to intend to buy anything to enter the giveaway. I'll give you a number range. Uh, you just need to guess the correct number in the chat. Uh, it could be the high number or the low number out of the range. Um, you can enter as many times as you like, uh, just one number um, at a time in the, in the chat. And the number range for this giveaway, the first giveaway is, let me just go and refresh my memory. Uh, it is between... 40 and 60. That's between 40 and 60. Good luck. Good Amy Crawford's good. here. Hey, Hi, Amy. My friend Amy is here. It does look like a deco style skyline. Yeah, that's an amazing oh. cut. And Amy, so good to see you. And let's see. Uh, there was a comment here coming yeah. in from Deb. She says, I'm thinking about a move to Central Florida from SoCal. Would love to hear your experiences living in Florida. Well, I absolutely have enjoyed my growing up here in Florida. There's a lot of really, oh, this light is just wanting to fall today. Uh, uh, wonderful things about living in Florida. We do have hurricanes and it is hot. That are the downsides. But the wonderful upsides of Florida is the beaches. They are amazing. It is so beautiful. In the springtime, which we're in right now, the flowers are luscious. The azaleas are in bloom. We have amazing hydrangeas and the weather is nice. We do get some rain, those wonderful afternoon thunderstorms, which I just love, especially on a tin roof. Oh, it's so fantastic. But the the beautiful weather here year round and not having those freezing temperatures is, is really wonderful. Florida is so pretty and I, I really do enjoy living here. Uh, so I, I highly recommend okay. Florida. There's some new names. Trojan for you is here. Um, that is a really new name to me. Welcome in, buddy. Uh, Welcome, we do sir. have a winner. We do have a winner. The number was 55, and it goes to Lisa, letter artist. Lisa with 55. Congratulations. Great job, Lisa. And you have won yourself this fabulous bar roach. Great, great get, Lisa. SPM Biker. Welcome in as well. That's a new name. Welcome, SPM Biker. We are so, so glad to have you in the chat tonight. Thank and you, everybody, for coming in and saying hi I'm, and playing along. I've got Seoul is here. Seoul is in the city and Korea is here. Welcome in. We're so happy to see you, Amy. 
We are so glad to see so many fantastic folks in the chat tonight. And that is our first giveaway, but stick around folks, because we've got some other great things coming in throughout the show. And uh, I do have a little special announcement. We have a new wonderful uh, prop that I will be using throughout the evening tonight. So you guys be thinking of a fun name. We have named all of our other displays here on the show. So while we're uh, starting our sale here, you guys can come up with some fun names. We do have our lovely Bob, who is our earring display. We have Blanche, who is our model for all things necklaces. We have, oh, we got Bernadette, our beautiful bracelet display. Blingo Star for our rings. And we have good old Mr. Clippy. And of course, all of y'all's favorite, we got Betty. So those are the names that we've got. And if you guys want to come up with something fun, please put some suggestions in the chat. And at the midway point of the show, we will pick a name. So I'll let Nick uh, on the list. SPM Biker says hello from Florida. Welcome. And, and Debs is here as well. Welcome, and Debs. Welcome, Debs. All right. So we're going to get started with our first item of the show. But quickly before that, here is how the sale will work tonight. If you claim an item from either Nate or me, please send the following information uh, to Katie at katiescreations1.com. I do need your real name, your YouTube name, shipping address with zip code and PayPal email. That way I can get you an invoice and a shipping quote. Do remember that all of the items you see here on screen tonight are shipping from Florida, even though our lovely friend is in New Zealand. All of his items are here with me, so we're able to get you the best rates combined, and uh, they will be shipped through Pirate Ship. Uh, also, the lag is tough. We struggle with that every week, so do make sure that you are in live chat if you are on a computer or all messages if you are on a phone. Top chat is a useless option that should not exist, so do toggle on out of that if you are on that setting on your chat. And do remember that when you're bidding on an item, you are closest to your internet, so you'll often see yourself first. Uh, Angela is our moderator, and she will let us know throughout the evening who is winning what items. So we have to go by what she sees and do make sure to refresh throughout the evening so you are up to date with the feed and uh, you're not lagging behind. So that is everything, I think. And we will go ahead and get started. Hi, Randy. Welcome, welcome. You know, I think um, <laughs> Nana Amy suggested the name for the, um, mod, the hand model as Handy Randy. Handy Randy. <laughs> yeah, I love it. He looks I just... fancy. Chanel. People are saying Thing from thing. the Adams Family. I like thing. Carmen. <laughs> yeah. And Bernard. I like Carmen. And like Bernard. I, I, so my favorites right now are Handy Randy, Bernard, because of what a name, and then Thing. So we'll, we'll see which one, one sticks. But I have to say, I just looked up after talking about all of our lovely little instructions, and I thought, why are there all these names in the chat? And then it dawned on me that, yes, I had just asked you to put in names. Goodness gracious. Uh, what am I going to do? All right. So, oh, Bernard. Bernard. <laughs> I read that long. Well, I tell you, some days. Okay, so our first item tonight, Angela is going to start off at just $12, and it is stunning. Nate, this is three inches in size. I'll let you tell everybody about this. I think this is finally the last of my Renaissance-style um, brooches. I, I bought, I think I had about five or six of them in total. I, I love this style. I love this um, sort of champagne pink pearl drop um, and these gray stones. I think it's so pretty. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I know that um, uh, Greg um, bought one very similar to this um, as a gift for Patricia was shown for Christmas. Um, uh, I just think it's so elegant. I think these are really, really, and yeah, I, I how do you say Renaissance again? I say Renaissance. Renaissance, yeah. I say we. we I think we say Renaissance here. Um, 
And this is this is a great brooch for your summer weddings coming up because of that beautiful champagne color. Uh, I really love that because it's not quite white. So it will go with, you know, all of your wedding things without overshining the bride, which is really nice. But if you are a bride yourself or you know someone who's a bride, this would look beautiful in a brooch bouquet. And of course, this just dresses up Betty and she looks fantastic. This is our $14 Amazon clutch purse. And you can do so much with Betty with just adding a simple brooch, $14. And then you've got endless looks with different brooches here. And I think it's gorgeous. I see Greg here in at 12. And uh, oh, man, this is stunning. Yeah, the champagne pearls are very vogue at the moment. Um, they are in. I love them. It's so, so pretty. All right, let's see. We're going to get our heartiest congratulations postcard here from 1912. And we are going to count this guy down for Ange all says, of our in the chat. What is it? Ange said something. Nate, the, no, it was Gina. Nate, the way you say it makes it sound bougie. <laughs> I did a, I, I did a, um, a posting on my, on my Instagram about my deep crumbed deep fried <laughs> deviled eggs and I said have I got too bougie and I put a poll up there for a laugh and it was a resounding yes I have become too bougie so they have people have spoken um they're delicious those things but yeah apparently um um Ange is right I'm just uh, Gina's right I've become I've just become too bougie have you become too bougie or are we just substandard buying eggs hard-boiled from the supermarket yeah. You know, I, t I had I had dinner out with, with friends. My um, my brother's ex, Amy, and a friend Karen, and um, Al and Siobhan, are this quite lovely little tight group. And we were we were there talking, and it came up, and I said to them because Al had just come back from the states, and I said, "Did you people? Did you know that Americans buy hard boiled eggs in the supermarket?" They were stunned. They were absolutely stunned. But when I said to them, and you realize that they're actually peeled, they were totally grossed out. They were just totally grossed out that um, it was just like, it's like a collective, ooh, that's just disgusting having, um, yeah. So, so LaDonna says that's gross. Now, I want to know who all in the chat buys hard-boiled eggs and if you do buy hard boiled eggs at the store, obviously you don't find them gross, but who all finds that gross? Because I grew up eating hard boiled eggs in the grocery store. We'd get the colored ones for Easter and the little cartons. Oh. I think those are in the shell. So those oh. are just more for fun. But then the ones that you could buy, I think you could get two, four, eight, or like 20 something eggs. But we always bought them hard boiled and, and we just had them because who has time to hard boil an egg? Nobody. Every, well, everybody has time to hard boil an egg. It takes like seven, seven minutes. Uh, not, it hasn't, it's not yet dinner time, um, nope. Georgia. So we haven't had. And, and Amy says there's no such thing as too bougie. And um, did Nate tell you he liked uh, chicken nuggies? I happened to be on a call with Angela and Christy, and I had some satay chicken skewers. And Ange says in the chat of what we were watching, I think it was Calypso Cat, that that Nate's eaten cheap chicken nuggies. I do not eat chicken no. nuggets. Nate, Nate eats wonderful food. <laughs> uh, Noreen. Hi, Noreen Hoffman. Yeah, there's, see, Gay is there, and she says, what? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Hard-boiled, peeled eggs. Yeah. yeah, and Katie said to me at one stage, yeah, they're in little sealed packets in their own juices, and I said, hmm, a hard-boiled egg doesn't have its own juices. Yeah, they but come yeah. in the it's packs. Not <laughs> it's not natural. It's not they're, natural. they're clear packs with yellow and red writing and a black descriptor, you peel a little tab back and you can literally pour like a half a cup of juice out of them. Oh. They're just kind of floating there. They, I, I don't know. I grew up with it, so it doesn't gross me out. But I know to some people it does. We always had salt and would cut them open and dip them. But they're they're hard. Nate was telling me that he, he likes gummy hard-boiled eggs. Like that's how they should be cooked. I've never known hard-boiled eggs to be that way. They were like 
slightly pale yellow, crumbly. That's how I always mm -hmm. ate hard boiled eggs. So I apparently I need to have a neat hard boiled egg. It's <laughs> a, electric dip. It is just so it's such a foreign concept to us here <laughs> that you would buy hard boiled eggs. It just seems so weird. Everybody I've asked here about it have um has said that seems really strange, but it is just so common. Although a lot of people have saying no, Karen would make her own. And Lisa doesn't isn't, isn't a fan of the store bought hard boiled eggs either. Neither is Monica. Ladonna makes her fresh. Uh, Sally admits she buys them. No, on the store bought hard boiled eggs from Gina. Okay, it's terrible, but not much flavor. Okay for salads. And uh, <laughs> Georgia makes her own. Hey, I've got Sally says I buy them, and I think it's gross. Yeah, I mean, so apparently I, I just didn't know any different, you know. Uh, and so the chat has spoken, Nate. Americans don't buy hardware yeah. like at the store. Apparently I'm I'm guilty. Yeah. And Nate's like, ooh. You know, Trojan for you says I'm spoiled. He has his own chickens. Oh, my, wow. my cousin Gay has chickens, and she often sends Bron home with some um, with some fresh eggs, hint, hint. And Gay says, nah, are you winding me up? I'm not winding you up, I promise. They do. Yeah, it's true. I, I Yep. And, and, yes, probably they are in water, not egg juice, because I realize there's no such thing as, like, egg juice. But in my brain, <laughs> you know, when I was little, I looked at them, and I'm like, ah, oh, eggs and egg juice. It's just I, I've always just – Called it egg juice. I don't know. Yes, and Pipe Biker says I'm allergic to egg whites, so he doesn't. He's mortified by the whole idea. Um, oh, now pickled eggs. I'm sorry. I know I'm Southern and I should love pickled eggs and pickled pig's feet and all the stuff in jars. I'm sorry. I don't. That that really does turn my stomach a little bit. I had one once and it's a texture thing for me. And the fact that they're just floating in a, like a mysterious pickling liquid. Ooh. No, that's what about if it's floating in the half cup of mysterious clear liquid that's in the hard boiled eggs that you buy from the supermarket. Because you just don't think about the liquid. You don't think about it. You shut it out of your mind. You, <laughs> it out, you dry the egg and then you salt it and you go about your day and, and then no one speaks about the mysterious egg liquid. <laughs> See, Patricia says a soft center on a hard boiled egg, yes. You, at seven minutes exactly, and you will get a nice jammy yolk. Jammy, that's the word you used. I was like, I've never heard of a jammy or a boiled egg. Well, now I have. <laughs> yes, people buy them for salads. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I know, I know, LaDonna, I know. <laughs> Pickled eggs and beet juice. Soy eggs. Okay, that sounds really... That sounds my, interesting. My All picture right. is a sunflower I grew in the garden. Oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> okay, sorry, we 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 with we're this. deviating. Sorry, people, I had to bring up the eggs, and that's just no. I've gone down a rabbit hole um, on that's eggs. Okay. I think we were with Greg at twenty six. Okay, we should count that down and get. Oh, I love out. pickles, Karen. I love pickles, but I hate cucumbers. Now that's a discussion for a whole nother day. Yeah, okay. sorry, Amy, we go down some really weird alleys here. We um, do. All right, we'll count this. Resin now I'm trying to. Renaissance, Renaissance broach down for Greg. He's at 26. So here we go, folks. The bidding has started again. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yes, it's perfect Easter chat right now. And speaking of Easter, coming up around the corner... Look at my Easter postcard with the little chickens and the eggs. How adorable. That's a great one. All right. I see that sold coming through. And <laughs> Poodle says she's ordering an online hen now. <laughs> Does Amazon <laughs> deliver those things? Do they come with one day shipping or maybe they take two days because it's a whole hen? I don't know. <laughs> All right, and that goes Amy. Amy. Oh, that's my friend Amy. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. I'm sure you'll love it. It's such such a pretty brooch. That is wonderful, I love, Amy. Love that style, that Renaissance style. That is a great style. Yes, beautiful brooch. All righty, fantastic. Now, 
<laughs> that's got me laughing so hard I'm crying. All right, so my first item up is going to be an amazing piece, and I'm really excited to bring this. I had the pleasure of meeting a lovely lady and her caretaker over the phone this past couple of weeks, um, let's see, three weeks ago, through Cindy, Mimi's Treasure Cottage. She hooked me up with a lovely lady in Ohio, and I video chatted and spent some wonderful time on the phone hearing all about her world travels. Her husband was a traveling salesman and went pretty much to every continent and country you can imagine. And every time he would go, he would bring back a piece of jewelry for her. And she's now downsizing and has decided to sell some of her collection to me. And I was more than thrilled to get these pieces so I could bring them to you. And I've got something really cool and unusual tonight. Um, and I'm, I'm starting to, to uh, bring these pieces to the sale. So I'm, I'm very honored that she trusted me with her collections uh, that her husband would bring her. And this piece comes all the way from Italy tonight, folks. Uh, we have uh, a Trafari piece that was bought in Italy with its original Italian uh, paper box. And it is just absolutely stunning. So I'm thrilled to get this. Uh, this is going to start a little higher at $30, but guys, you are getting the box. The box is harder to find, and it is gorgeous for display. It looks like that beautiful Italian paper you'd find in all the Florence uh, paper shops. And when you open it up, it has its Trafari sticker and logo right there. And inside, you are getting a Trafari necklace that this lady tells me came all the way from Italy, her husband brought it back for her and it is Mark Trafari and Trafari is amazing. They, I mean, made some seriously good costume jewelry back in the day. And this is a sturdy necklace. Trafari was for, founded by Gustavo Trafari and his uncle in 1910. And Trafari, uh, the, the Trafaris, he, his uncle was a goldsmith and Italy. And so he really knows how to make quality jewelry. And this is a wonderful mid-century necklace. Uh, I'm going to measure it up for you here. So this is about 24 inches long. So it's a really nice size. I will show you the Trafari marking on the back. It is gold tone. And this is a crown Trafari. Crown Trafari. So very crown. nice. And it is just stunning. And it will look like this when it's on. And let me show you the box again, because I think with this, what's really special is the beautiful box. So let me get this on so you guys can see how it hangs. It's a it's a very versatile piece because this, this gold just goes with everything. You can dress it up or dress it down. So you can wear it with a white T-shirt if you wanted to. Or you can dress it up uh, with a beautiful dress. And this is the kind of piece, too, that's wonderful because if you travel, this just goes with everything. You can dress it up for a night look. You can dress it up um, or just wear it during the day casual. So it's absolutely stunning. And then remember, folks, you are getting... You're actually, um, you're actually breaking up quite a bit, Katie, and it's seizing a little bit. The Oh, okay, it's come, it seems to have come back, but... Okay, it's, it's my internet again. Let's see. Let's see here. Is that working, Nate? I think it's back. Yeah, I think it's back. Okay. Okay, it's fine there. So this is beautiful. You get the box, and there is the Trafari sticker. And again, uh, the box, I think, is really everything with that, that Trafari logo. And I almost kept this just because of the logo itself. So I think it's it's really special. I see you, Karen, in at 32. And this has, we determined the name of this clasp the other day because I wanted to call it Lobster Claw, but that's not it. But it has the same similar mechanism. It's um, not a lobster. Gay knows what that is. I think she told it's not us. Not a lobster last claw, but I just can never remember the name of this class. Um, but it's it's oh, beautiful. Karen Lord is here. Hi, Karen. Lovely to see okay. you. And I see you at thirty six. This is a twenty four inch chain. This is a crown trafari piece. 
going to show that up close. You can really see all that mid-century detail. I think that this is probably 50s, 60s era. And it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. And then with it, of course, you're getting this beautiful box. When I was in Florence, I just loved going in all of the paper shops because it was full of paper like this. And then you've got that beautiful Crown Trafari logo there, which I love. Patricia um, Wishon says it's a spring ring clasp. Spring ring. Say that five times fast. And this would be wonderful to display open like this and then put other brooches around it. So we are going to go ahead and start the countdown here, folks, at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid in. And that crown Trafari sticker is everything to me. As far as an advertisement piece goes, I think that's very cool. And then you get this amazing box with it, which is so stunning. Yes, I love that. All righty. Fantastic, you guys. And to have something from Italy, pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And this lady was so lovely. I just really enjoyed uh, my time with her. All righty, and that sold to Trojan for you for $45. Great buy. Uh, Trojan, I believe you are a new name to me, which is fantastic. We love new people around here, but do please send me your information at katie at katiescreations1.com. Angela will put that in the chat. That way I can get you an invoice, and I will be doing invoices tomorrow. So fantastic. Thank you uh, so much. And maybe um, uh, Angela can dump the um, uh, your email address into the chat as well. Fantastic. Um, excellent. Let's see. Great. All right. Fantastic. I appreciate you guys. The box is everything. Um, I think that's wonderful. And the quality of Trafari pieces you know, I always say they're some of my favorite pieces to collect because they're just solid and really incredibly well made. Oh, Piddle says that he's well known. He's well known in the community. He's new to us, I think, but he's well known. So glad that you've joined us. Yay. So glad you've joined us. Perfect. All righty. Now, up next, oh, this is very cool. I love this piece, Nate. I think that this is amazing. And Nate, with this next piece, I've got a couple of questions for you, and maybe you can educate me along with our viewers in the chat. Uh, up next, we've got a beautiful piece starting at $38, and it is a Vermil chain. Um, and Nate, you were talking to me a little bit about this before the show, but I was curious because it is got that gold on it. What is the, what is the differences with this um, one? <laughs> As I know it, the difference in vermeil um, and gold plating and rolled gold is that um, when something's gold plated, it can be on any sort of a metal. I'm going to cough again. Sorry. Hold on. Excuse me. On any sort of metal. And the, the gold plating is extremely thin. On vermeil, it's always on sterling or fine silver, fine silver being... 999 parts per thousand um, of pure silver, 925 is sterling. Um, so it's a, a much uh, thicker coating of uh, the gold plating. And rolled gold, again, is even a, a thicker plating. And I think that might even be done in a different, in a different method. Um, but this is Italian. Um, great quality. I'm always always talking about how good the quality of Italian um, sterling and vermeil chains is. This has a really interesting twisted link. Um, I think it's, did we decide it's 24? 24, 24 inches. inches. It's a great size. And there's the Italian marks on the end here. It does say Italy and 925 on that part of the lobster claw clasp. You can see that right there. And it is, it is quality, Nate, let me tell you. This, again, would have been a, a, an expensive chain in a high-end store. Um, really good quality, really interesting link. Um, 
and would have cost a lot of money when it was first bought. Um, I, I love getting the um, Italian sterling chains and the Vermeil chains. I'm finding them more and more difficult to um, to, to source them. I'm, I'm really finding it difficult to get the um, sterling chains. Um, I think this could be one of the last ones that I have at the moment. It's really stunning, folks. And I was just at the Gem and Mineral show today, as I mentioned, and there was a gentleman that deals in sterling silver and vintage pieces, and he had these priced, chains like this, uh, priced at well over $100. Mm -hmm. So I feel that this is a fantastic deal. Yeah. And these, the, this design and twisted rope reminds me so much of those wonderful Christmas ornaments that are twisted like icicles. And, and that just makes me so happy. So it is really, really gorgeous. And yes, Blanche did fall down on the job again. I think uh, she put a little bit too much Irish whiskey in her coffee before the, the show. Um, so she's, she's taken a vacation. We'll have to get her in a minute. But it, this is absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Linda Barnum from Michigan. Yep, fabulous quality looks really gorgeous on and it will be definitely something of a statement when you wear it and people want to know all about your your beautiful chain and this is another piece that you can wear with gold and silver so it makes it a really versatile addition to your jewelry wardrobe well, i don't think we've got any interest in that which is fine we can move on and if you're watching on the replay um, uh, that's still available. We'll offer it again at the end of the sale in a quick, super quick um, wrap up. Absolutely. That will be available. Okay. Let's see. What do we have next happening over here? Ooh, let's see here. What do I want to do? Okay. Ah, oh, let's do this brooch. All right. Let's do this beautiful piece here. Let me get it out for you guys. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and do the big brooch. <laughs> I love this piece. Um, and I was so lucky to get this recently in Gainesville at a wonderful little antique mall that I just discovered. And this is going to be for the whole set. So you're getting everything you see here. This is a beautiful signed piece of Laguna custom jewelry. Now, I have researched and researched Laguna and could not find a whole lot of information on it, but there's a wonderful website called Costume Jewelry Collectors International that I used, and they had a very small section uh, on Laguna. So they are signed. So really nice maker of costume jewelry. Hi, and John Crawford. Welcome in. From what I gather... I believe that they're sort of similar to Judy Lee. They kind of have that same style. And this is a wonderful piece. Hey, Junk Waffle. A wonderful piece of 1950s jewelry. And you're getting the pink brooch in time for spring and the wonderful clip-on earrings, which, of course, you could wear on your collar if you didn't want to wear them. But you're getting all of these, and they are gorgeous. These are going to start the whole set at $30, which is, I know, a little higher, but I, I really did pay up for this because it's such quality. And, you know, it really is becoming harder to find these brooches with these beautiful beads that have the prong set rhinestones at the end. Sometimes you find these, but not the prong set rhinestones, which makes that really stunning. So you have these beautiful, uh, pale, wow. pink, springy, uh, stones and you've got the faux pearls and the gold and all of those rhinestones. I mean, look at the dimensionality on that. My, my. And then you have these beautiful pearls as well with those uh, earrings. And man, they are stunning. And this is signed Laguna. So what a fabulous piece. Now this brooch measures, and it is a whopper folks, over two and a half inches. It's crazy how wide this is uh, and it's it's just stunning let me show you the back again and I do believe that this is older you've got all of those beads attached and the prongs have rhinestones and oh look at this even with the lavender just what a stunning piece now let's get this on good old Betty 
it is it's getting harder and harder to find these with the little rhinestones on the end and i just love how big these pink stones are they sort of have a dreamy aurora borealis effect to them wow look at that on betty nate what a stunner stunning I, I love the combination of the pearls and um, the rhinestones and the crystals it's just so feminine and so elegant it really is now the thing that i love to do with these clip-on earrings as i've mentioned several times is you can most certainly wear them and these are these sort of i call them like ear crawler um styles because they kind of that's the wrong ear hang on just a second let's get the right ear they kind of, you know, climb up your ear, which just really is so effective and gorgeous. It, it's stunning. But because clip earrings are not the most comfortable thing in the world to wear, they look really awesome separately on a shirt at the very end of your collar. You can wear one on either side. And they also look just magnificent if you have a vintage postcard like this one, just in time for Easter. You can stick this on the edge of your postcard, along with your brooch, of course. But that just dresses up your little postcard and adds a little fun style. And you can use it as an ephemera holder. So lots of great ideas for uh, these beautiful pieces here. Hello, Tina and Jason. Welcome. We're so hey, Jason, buddy. Oh, it's so nice to see Tina and Jason. I was at a sale of theirs recently and they had invited people to send in photos of some of their finds and their collections. And I sent some pictures of my sterling Vesta cases and calling card cases and cigarette cases. And they were kind enough to show them at the end of the sale, which was very nice. That is so wonderful, Nate. And Nate does have a great collection of those, Maya. Every every time you show me the case in the hall, I just drool a little bit. <laughs> yep. All right. So I see Lisa at 30. So we're going to go ahead and count this down for these uh, Laguna earrings and brooch set. Perfect for Easter coming up. Uh, wonderful little set here. And we're going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid. And I, it, I tell you, it this thing sparkles like there is no tomorrow. It sp sparkles like the Hope Diamond. I mean, it, it this thing is amazing. You could see it from a million miles away, and you've got all of those prong set rhinestones on the top. And look how far this stone sticks up. I mean, the dimensionality on this thing is just crazy. I love it. Oh, thanks again. Oh, I was really pleased to, um, uh, feel, and so thankful and grateful that you had um, profiled them on your sale. Um, I, not, not many people get to see them. And um, if you wanted to do something more, I talked to Katie about that. You know, you had said maybe in the future we do something a little bit more in depth on them as you had found them so interesting. And she gave, she so gracefully gave me permission to um, to break our exclusivity contract, <laughs> exclusivity contract and said that I, I could go on your channel and um, talk to you about my sterling silver collection. I will never, folks, let me tell you, I will never live one Freudian slip of the tongue. <laughs> I, I was, we were talking about this and I was so excited for Nate and out of my mouth, not that Nate needs or wants or has to have or any of these things, my permission to do anything outside of our chat, because of course he absolutely can. I don't own Nate in any way. We're just good friends that have a sale together, but I just out of my mouth while I was doing other things, I said, Nate, you have my permission. I, I, I have her permission to, to go on another person's channel. So it was so kind, so kind oh, of her to allow me to um, to do that. I Hi, did. Catherine. Um, Apparently so, that was my, my good deed for the week. Yeah. Katie feels that I'm totally scent marked now and – but I, yeah, she just, gave me permission, which was just so oh kind. Yeah. It was so kind. It was so generous natured of you, Katie. It really was. 
I swear I will never live that down. Just like my best friend will never live it down. That she was the one that broke the red jewelry box. And that's how Nate has her. And <laughs> official blessing is important. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. All right. Trizzer. Well, you will have to check with Poodle about licensing other Nate merch. Because Poodle owns the alleyway. <laughs> yeah, Carly is here. Oh, Carly, did she pay me a monkey? Yes, she did. We we owe Carly a big thanks because when a Angela was away, Carly stepped in and um, moderated for us and did such an amazing job. And I don't think we thanked her enough for that. So thank you so much, Carly. You're an absolute sweetheart for helping us out when we were yeah. stuck for a, moder for a moderator. It was so nice of you. It really was. Um, yeah, Katie cut the leash, Karen says. <laughs> Those apron strings. Oh boy, what a what a what a day that was, and it will be a day that will always be remembered. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, up next we've got another wonderful vintage piece, and Nate found this, and I just think it is so pretty and gorgeous and great for summer. It's starting off Angela at twenty-two, and Nate, if you want to tell everybody about this stunner. Oh, this is such a pretty vintage brooch. The, the, the dark green color of these stones is just stunning. This is a signed Coro uh, piece, so it's a fantastic quality brooch. Um, it is just so, so pretty. I love this color rhinestone. Um, so I, I did, again, have to pay up a little bit for this one. We, we, we are always committed to bringing quality, and um, Coro is great quality brooches, as you well know, Katie. Coro is wonderful. They are one of the jewelry manufacturers I often look for. They were founded by Carl um, uh, Rosenberg and Cohen in New York uh, in 1901, 1902, and they just make some really fantastic quality costume jewelry and this piece has the y back so it is definitely a 50s 60s piece and you can see the coro mark on the back here which is wonderful so it's signed coro right there the camera will ever decide to pick that up yeah, or almost but yeah that is definitely almost. signed coro. Yeah, that is lovely they really had a, a um a, 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 almost a slightly superior design aesthetic to their pieces. This, this it's just a step above a lot of the other costume jewelry that was um, being manufactured. I love their designs and this color, this teal, this absolute incredible, beautiful teal. And again, I so seldom see greeny, bluey, teal colored rhinestones. You don't, you don't find a lot of it in vintage jewelry and to find such a vibrant piece of Coro is amazing, and I love this. Now, this does measure uh, two inches, so it's a great size brooch, and the center stone is prong set, which we love. And on Betty, that just looks stunning. Look how this elevates our $14 clutch purse from Amazon here. Golly, that is, a, what a look. And the texture yeah. on the leaves. That's another thing Coro did really well, in my opinion, is, is the, the texture on all of their gold um colored metal is just really wonderful yeah. it just adds a, a, an extra dimension to the pieces and that's coming across so beautifully as well i love i love that color um Petra just it. said i should have waited to buy that dang little mower <laughs> all right so we're going to get this on our good luck postcard from 1907 since saint patrick's day was just uh happened a little while ago and I see Noreen Hoffman here at 22. And yes, this is multi-seasonal. You can wear it in the summer, spring, and fall because you've got those wonderful green colors there. So lots and lots of things. It's just so mesmerizing. So Poodle is at 25. We're going to go ahead and start the countdown here, folks, at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and bid end. Me too, Jennifer. That's my birthstone as well. And this is just, this is lovely. It is so So stunning. I guess we should wait for Angela's sold because yes. of how angry she gets and she starts <laughs> calling Nathan. Well, we don't um, want to call the so. wrong person. <laughs> 
All right. See who gets that beauty in it. Oh. Is beauty going to Poodle? Poodle. Thank you, Poodle. That won't disappoint. You'll absolutely love it. It is even more beautiful in person. Oh, it really is. I'm holding it here, and it's just such a work of art. All right. Boy, let's see. I, I've got some really lovely things tonight, and I'm so excited to bring a little piece of sterling because uh, Nate has inspired me to be on the lookout for all things sterling. And there is a beautiful sterling brooch that I am so excited to bring you all tonight. Uh, this sterling brooch is going to start off, Angela, at... $35. So I did pay up a little bit for this because I felt that it was special. It is Mark Sterling on the back. And this is just such a cool brooch. Now, you know, I love theater. My background has always been uh, in theater. And this is uh, your wonderful mm -hmm. theater masks. And they have such cool designs to them. I think they're wonderful. And they're sterling. And I just, I fell in love with these. And I've shined them up. And they look so good. They are so fun. And it's just a really unusual, different kind of brooch than you normally see. There's These the are the uh, tragedy and comedy masks, yeah. aren't they? And there's 925 right on the back. And I almost kept these. I just felt that they were fantastic. I loved this piece so, so much. I think it's just amazing. Perfect as a, for a night out at the theatre. Yep. Just just lovely. Lots of May babies. Lots, Lots of May babies. I love the faces too. And see, if you put them at an angle on Betty, they just look so much fun. They really add just another little level of whimsy to whatever you're wearing. And they're a great ode uh, to all things Shakespearean and theatre and Oh, I just, I love these so much. And the sterling is such quality, you guys. Oh, it's just a really fantastic pen. I just love that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this on one of our postcards. You can see it a little better. We're having some trouble focusing. We'll put this on to seal our friendship postcard here from 1912. Oh, that looks really good. Look how nice that is. That looks very cool. Yeah, it does. Uh, all right. Well, I do not see anyone for the masks. That is okay. These might end up staying in my collection, but they are gorgeous, you guys. Stunning. So if you are watching on the replay and those are interesting to you and you would like them, I will definitely uh, set those aside for you. Yes, Betty is the bomb. You know, we could not do our sales without Betty. She just elevates everything. All right. Now, let's see what else we've got. Yeah, I love local theater, too. There's so many wonderful theaters here in town. And uh, the next musical that's coming here for my, my season subscription is six. And I am just beyond ec ecstatic to see that again. That is really going to be fun. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Oh, someone was asking about sparkly earrings earlier in the chat, and Nate does have a perfect pair of sparkly earrings. So here they all are. I think, Nate, these would be really good for summer weddings and events where you're outside and you need to dress up a little bit. Uh, they just are really, really fun <laughs> pieces here, and they're starting off at $10, Angela, in the chat. I just thought these were f f fun, pretty, and feminine earrings. Um, even for prom or something like that, yeah. they're just such a, a pleasing shape and um, such lovely, clear rhinestone, such, just such amazing sparkle from them. Um, and, yeah, as I said, I just thought they were cute. They are so fun. And, they, I mean, these guys really sparkle. I mean, really, really sparkle. They are so, so much fun. Let me see if I can get these on. I do. <laughs> I, I haven't worn earrings in a long time, guys. So sometimes I, I struggle to get the earrings on. But I like to do. I like to model them if I can. So you see how they hang. They so are. This looks like a really simply elegant. 
I mean, it's, it's blingy, but it's sort of understated at the same time. Um, re really pretty, really feminine. Really gorgeous. You wear this with a strapless dress, with a strappy dress, with, you know, a velvet dress or even a blazer. Heck, I think. A red velvet blazer with these would just command the room. I mean, that would just be an outfit. My gosh, so fun. I see Jennifer Lab Mama in at 11. And I really, I think these are great and they sparkle. Look at them, Nate. Man, yeah. they're wonderful. Nice, nice quality rhinestones. You know, <laughs> these to me are almost at that um, Austrian crystal rhinestone stage. They're just such lovely, lovely quality. They are. Uh, and Angela is always trying to get me to wear earrings. So, Angela, I need to bring the earrings back. But I am allergic to anything in my ears that isn't 18 karat gold or more. So, unfortunately, sort of have uh, expensive ears. So, I can only wear so many earrings. But we'll start the countdown here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and bed end. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Bob, Bob is doing a good job on these. And you know what? I don't know, Nate. What do you like for our new display? Do you like thing? Do you like we, we had a lot of a lot of opinions in the chat? And I, I, I kind of liked Morticia, to be honest. Morticia? Because it has that sort of thing association. Yeah. And it's obviously a sort of a classy woman's hand. Um, oh, Noreen, that went to Noreen. Thank you so much, Noreen. Uh, you're going to love them. They are just so blingy. They're beautiful. They are really gorgeous. Fantastic, Noreen. You are going to love those. I like, uh, uh, let's see, was it Amy in the chat? She said, Handy Randy, which I kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Handy Randy, I think, is fun. Um, but... We got lots of, so we're going to have to vote in the chat. So I'm putting in my vote for Handy yeah. Randy. You have Morticia. What do you we, think? Can't, you put a, 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 can't we put a, a poll in as a I'm question sure. on, the next, um, on the next sale? And we'll put Morticia and Handy Randy and um, Thing and um, – oh, uh, Poindexter was a cute one too. Yeah, Poindexter was um, our friend in, in Florida, S SMP, um, and we'll get people to vote on them. Oh, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Got to get this cord plugged in here. Let's see if I can reach it in the back. Whoop. All right. I think we got that. Let's see. All right. We got lots of votes in the, the chat from Morticia, but we will put up a vote over on Instagram for you guys. You can uh, vote there and then we'll come back next week and we will name our, our display. All right. Let's see. What do we have next up? Oh, this is a fun, fun, fun thing. Now, this is coming from this lovely lady who I told you I met in Ohio or through Cindy in Ohio. And she has a lovely, lovely collection of jewelry. Her husband traveled all over and would bring things back. And she told me that these pieces here came from Germany. So that we are really hopping around the world tonight. Um, and again, he probably brought these back in the, the 60s or 70s for her, would be my guess. And what you're getting is an earring and bracelet set. Tonight. Oh, Laurie White cool. likes Handy Randy as well. Welcome in, Laurie. Welcome, Laurie. Exactly. We're glad you're here. Okay, so you are getting a beautiful set here. Perfect for spring. I thought this was really a good time to sell these because we're going into Easter and everyone needs their, their beautiful Easter outfits and things. So this is an 8-inch bracelet. And this set is starting off, Angela, at $25. And it the quality, let me tell you guys, the quality of this is amazing. You have the beautiful pastel pinks and oranges and yellows, which just are not translating on camera. But I want to show you the quality of this bracelet because when you put it on, it has your fold-over clasp. It has even a little detail on the clasp. I mean, that oh, is really good nice. quality. 
Yeah, that's a really good sign. And it just looks stunning on. So you're getting the gold bracelet. And these sort of have like a opaly moonstone effect. These pale, pale, gorgeous yellow cabs here. And then you're going Kelly. to also be... Hi, Kelly. Lovely to see you. Hi, Kelly. And you're also going to be getting these earrings. And I wish that these would show up. Let me see if I can show these to you. They have a, the tiniest little sunburst carved into them. Is that, is that, is that oh, can you oh, see yep, it? You can see it. You can see it. Isn't that yeah. beautiful? So this matches the bracelet. So you get you get the set here, and they come together. And uh, they, I mean, I'm telling you, the, the quality and the weight of this was just amazing to me. Hi, Kelly. We're glad you're here. And uh, I see you in at 25. So let me try these earrings on so you get a little look. Uh, what they look like, and then we'll get our bracelet uh, on Bernadette, and we will count this down. That I just the, I can't get over the quality of the pieces she had, and the fact that they came from all over the place is amazing. And she still had all of the the receipts and things to document these, and what, what you know where they came from. So she really knew uh, her jewelry well, and hopefully I'll be able to get some more pieces from her. Uh, in the near future, this is what the back of the bracelet looks like. Just, I mean, really quality. I'm hoping the light will pass through so you can see how how beautiful. There's little flecks, too, as well, within the bracelet that make this really sparkle. Uh, I've got a necklace that we're going to be bringing next week that would be a fantastic match for this set. Oh, such yes. A, that bib necklace is such a... Um, a lovely piece. It really is. Okay, so Kelly is in at 25. And here's our beautiful set that you'll be getting. And we're going to start the countdown here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. So fabulous. And I, just the little rope detail in between each of these little stones and how they put that together looks really gorgeous on. I love this. Uh, does it glow? That is a wonderful question. Yeah, I've just been asking you that, actually, and I found myself on mute. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, it does not glow, unfortunately, but it's always good to check. No, no glow here, folks. <laughs> and that... Goes to Kelly Smith. Congratulations. Fantastic. Kelly Smith, that is yours. What a great get. Oh, and he man. says Anderson. <laughs> Anderson. Anderson. I like that too. Okay, we're going to have to put up some polls. That's fantastic. The, the lady that uh, had these wonderful pieces of jewelry, uh, she was just so cute. She reminded me a whole lot of like like a spunky Betty White. And boy, she was spunky and fun and just, she, you know, had white hair and just was fabulous. I, I so enjoyed her. She was a, a really special, special lady I got to talk to. Um, let's see, what did I do with the bag? There I see we we've got a really strong lag this evening. So if you wanted to take the opportunity to um, refresh your page or go to the... Um, settings toggle and take it to times two speed it will catch up really quickly or the red line at the bottom of the screen if you were to swipe that to the most extreme right um I, I, I keep a window open with um it showing in youtube as well as being in um streamyard and there is quite a difference well Did that Good. There's a remake of the Golden Girls coming out. No, I've, I know that there's a Dutch version of the Golden Girls, which is really interesting. And I did not know uh, that. And did you see that there's a, a sequel to Beetlejuice coming out? Oh, I'm so excited for that. I think that yeah. would be wonderful. That has the, the girl that played um, the young Adams child wednesday adams in her own series wednesday and it had the really funny woman that was in the original beetlejuice that was in schitt's creek wow 
That's I amazing. Saw, yeah, I saw a preview for it. That's just so great. And and they've been talking too that there would be a a remake coming out of is it Frasier? They're doing a thing with Frasier. And I'm like, I love that show. So that that would oh, be really great. Carly says it appears the Golden Girls remake is a as a as a theory is a fake, according to Google. Oh really? Wow. Maybe. Okay. Well, you can't beat the original cast, so that would be challenging. I know they re redid or kind of extended uh Gilmore Girls, which I love that show. I think uh, Amy Sherman Palladino, the lady that wrote all of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, is an incredible writer. And the show's funny and heartwarming and quippy and all the things. And I love Gilmore Girls. But the remake, I'm sorry if this offends anybody, but it was awful. They just made Rory out to be this, you know, corporate America. She just was not good. She was not the Rory we all fell in love with. Am I right? And then the ending, it came full circle, but it was just, I don't know. I was not a fan. <laughs> all right. So our next brooch is starting off. Uh, Nancy, Nancy Barrett. Um, if you want to bid on an item, you can bid in the chat. Um, you just, you don't need to sign up. You don't need to add a, a, a debit card or anything. Um, but if you were to win an item, you would just need to email Katie with your uh your youtube channel name your real name your address including the postcode um and she will um invoice you via paypal if you don't have a paypal account you can actually still check out of paypal as a guest um so that's how the payment is accepted but feel free to um bid on anything um you'll see dear angela's vintage will put the starting bid into the chat um, and you'll see other people bidding, or maybe you wouldn't see anyone bidding, you'd be the only bidder. Um, and then after a certain stage, we call a halt to the bidding, and the highest bid above Angela's sold is the winning bid. And as I say, we, you would just need to email your details through to um, Katie um, at Katie's Creations. One, I can't remember the rest. <laughs> it's and, a lot. Um, and postage is not included, so postage would, would, would be calculated um, on top of that. So welcome in. It's lovely to have a new people here. So Nancy Barrett, welcome in, and feel free to bid if you wish. And Christine Jones is here. Welcome in, Christine. Oh, we lost, uh, looks like we lost Katie there. Yep, it looks like that. I, the, I Kelly, I didn't, I haven't watched Mrs. Maisel yet. And everyone keeps telling me that it is such a beautiful sort of period piece. Um, and um, I, it's on my list. It's on my list. Tracy Ullman. I love Tracy Ullman. Here's Katie. Trojan. Um, I am such a big Tracy Ullman fan. Um, uh, one of my favorite clips is, I don't know how familiar you are with English actresses, um, she does a Dame Maggie Smith that is so hard, the makeup is so good, you think it's it's Maggie Smith, she does a, um, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, she does an Angela Merkel impersonation singing 99 Luftballons, um, so Trojan, if you look on um, uh, YouTube for Tracy Ullman stuff. It is hilarious. Yes, that is a great recommendation, Nate. Uh, I think my internet went out, but we are okay and we are back. And yes, you must watch Mrs. Maisel, Nate. We'll have to watch it together. I think even though it's not sci-fi and it doesn't have spaceships, it is hilarious and you will love it because it moves quickly. The costuming and the writing is really good. And I think if you just gave like a few episodes a chance, you'd really like it. Katie and I watched recently a remake of an Agatha classic Agatha Christie, um, Crooked House. I, that was so fantastic. Good. That was so good. That had me really captivated. That was oh, amazing. She, oh, Trojan, she does an incredible Camilla. 
Her Camilla is hilarious. I love that so much. Okay. This um, brooch, Angela, this is one of mine, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's starting at $12. 12, just $12. This lovely, bright, this is the, the um, Swiss blue topaz color. Um, it is such a, a, a pretty, I think I have another one of these in yellow, Um but this is such a pretty, pretty brooch. It's so well modeled. Um, the the marquee cut um, blue rhinestones as petals. It is just beautiful. And, and again, really nice quality um, rhinestones on this one, don't you think, Katie? The quality oh, of those blue rhinestones is fantastic. The quality is really amazing. And if you look, you've got all those stunning blue marquee stones. And this is a great brooch because you can loop and chain through this very easily. And you can wear that as a pendant as well. But it's also the perfect size to wear on your collar. So if you just want a little fun collar brooch, I love that. Uh, Even well, from that distance, Katie, the, the, the glint of the rhinestones is amazing on those blue rhinestones. They are just sparkling so strongly. They, I mean, it is really bright and fantastic and lovely. And even against our postcard here for our birthday greetings, do we have any birthday folks in the chat? I think we did earlier. This one's for you. Uh, but I just, the colors in this and the shine is so incredible on this. It's, it's really, really nice. And the way those marquee stone, stones are set, gives that dimensionality is just it's so beautiful it, it's really is a pretty brooch it's just perfect for easter and spring uh, it'd be a great look for easter sunday and it just brings so much joy this is another brooch too you could easily stick in a flower frog and display it that way in a garden of beautiful flower brooches and you don't have to water them that's the best part you can't kill them yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start the countdown here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. That's really pretty. Man, I love that. Really clever design for this. This is another one of those real successful designs. Um, someone who really knew what they were doing designed this i agree they i mean the the dimensionality on these marquee stones the way they've layered them all in and i i talk about that a lot because i mean just look at that oh so lovely uh, <laughs> that goes to homeschool lou thank you so much lou that will not disappoint you will absolutely love that and i'm sure you'll get a ton of compliments when you wear that. And thanks to everyone who is also bidding on that. And Amy, thank you. We really appreciate all bids. Um, thank you, Lou. Um, you are, you are going to love it. That was one of the brooches that I was a little bit reluctant to put in the sale. <laughs> it sort of was almost earmarked to come to me. But um, I'm glad that you did, Nate. You had some people that were really interested. But, you know, we were a bit under the gun for time for picking brooches out for this one. So I totally blame you, Katie, for making me put this one in the side. Yeah, so that is totally all on me. me. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> now, this is a 1911 postcard for those in the chat that are interested in this. And it says... These greetings true, I send to you for a bright and happy birthday. I love this postcard. It was sent to uh, Mrs. Earl Seegers in New York City. And let's see what it says. It says, Netchet home all right, but real tired. Feel better today. Found, found every... Something all right. Yours lovingly, Maud. 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 I love that name, Maud. It is such a nice name. Maud is a great name. Yes, I love it. I have trouble. I can read cursive, but I have trouble on these postcards, particularly when they're embossed because the pencil, yeah. as you can see, it kind of smudges and it's just a little hard to see what they're saying, but I, I love that. It's lovely. All right, now I think it is time for another giveaway. Yeah, 
Great. All right. So our next giveaway is this, uh, I think this is 14 karat gold filled or 10 karat gold filled. It's a great quality of, of, gold. of gold tracing this. Really is good. Lovely uh, rose, great dimension. And well, do we know what that rose is actually made of? Is that bone or ivory? Uh, it could well be just, either. It's just a beautiful, oh, well, this might be a really great giveaway, folks. <laughs> yeah, it could I, be an exceptional giveaway. Yeah, I think it is bone or ivory, see? Yeah. I think it's something. Anyway, we are committed to not only bringing quality to the snails, but to bring great giveaways, and this is a fun one. Yeah. This is a good one. This, I think, could well be a $60, $70 brooch. So uh, right. let's go through. So uh, you don't need to have purchased anything or intend to purchase anything to enter the giveaway. I'll give you a number range, and you just need to uh, guess the correct number in the chat. It could be the high number or the low number of the number range. Uh, or you can enter as many times as you like. Um, but just one number at a time um, in the chat. The number for this fantastic giveaway, I think this is a really good quality item. Um, the number for this one is between 60 and 80. Between 60 and 80, good luck. Good luck, folks. Now, this could be coral. It could be shell. I'm not sure. But it does have a lot of texture on the back. So I can definitely tell that it's carved from a natural material. It's not plastic. And it is signed on the bottom. 14, 12 karat gold fill. Ooh. Again, almost dropped something. And Nate would just, poor Nate would have a panic. <laughs> See, this is why, this is why, folks, I need the, the roach clip because well, this is really a brooch uh, bracelet putter on her, but you guys like to say it looks like a roach clip, which it totally does. But it's really great for holding brooches because I can't drop them. And my little tiny, um, my little, you know, chubby fingers can't grab onto these brooches very well. And then they fall and they make Nate nervous. Yep. So here we go. Oh, speaking of falling. <laughs> Nate's like, oh, dear God. <laughs> Adam's here. Hey, Adam. Nice to see you, hey, buddy. Adam. I'm actually going to have to go back to my um, notes to see what number I'm looking for because I tend to forget it after I look at all the numbers. Oh, so. the boy. There we go. <laughs> um, still haven't found it yet. Wonderful. Um, Let's see. No, I don't see it yet either, Nate. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm, I'm, I'm back up to the top now. All right, we're, we're going again. From the top, the numbers are flying in like hotcakes. Wow, Heather that's... Elizabeth is here. Hi, Heather Elizabeth. Hi, Heather. Good to see you, my dear. All right, let's see. No, every number except Whoa. the number. It's one number off. One number, folks. One number away from this oh. one giveaway. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I know who's getting I, it. I, I see it as well, um, but there are so many numbers. I'm going to try and type it in the private chat to you on StreamYard. Can you see the private chat? Can you click onto that tab? Yes. Hang on. Uh, why don't I have that tab? Hang on. Let me go. Nope. I don't have that tab. Oh, yes. You, you do? I do have that, that tab. Okay. I'm going to put it in the chat there just to make sure that I've got the right person. Okay, Nate, um, let me respond back to you because I'm seeing a different person. You see someone, oh, I'm so glad we checked. I've, the, the numbers are so thick and fast. They are, folks. All right. Let's oh, okay. You've, you come up with someone completely different. Okay, I'm going to go back um, to the chat <laughs> And I hope we had. I hope we have the same number that we're looking for. Sorry, people. Oh, oh um, Nate, abort, abort, abort mission. You're right. Um, I'm wrong. All right. Okay. So the number was um, seventy six, and the first seventy six was Adam. Yep, Adam got it. That's Adam the got it. 
All right. I can't find that number again. I can't find it again either. Um, but it was, but yeah. Adam, this one. Adam is right the winner. Right. Yeah. Fantastic, Adam. That is coming to you. What a great, great giveaway. Oh, and some other new names. John Bow is here. Welcome in, John Bow, buddy. Um, oh, and Kelly Newton is a, is a new name to me as well. Welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome in. We, we love our, our, our um, lurkers as well. Um, that was a really popular giveaway, and I'm not surprised because that is a, a really amazing quality brooch. Adam, I'm not sure if um, uh, Katie's got your details, but Angela, if you could put Katie's um, email address into the chat, and if you could just email your address and full name to Katie, she will get that sent out to you. The packing, the, the packaging is amazing. Um, uh, there will be a lovely little bags and boxes and ribbons and um, sealing wax with really cool seals. Um, Katie and Jeannie and um, Grandmother Blaylock do an amazing, or is it Grandmother Lyle, does do an amazing job of the packaging. Um, so you'll be blown away by the, by the packaging anyway. But congratulations, Adam, and thank you, everyone, for entering into the um, giveaway. That was a fantastic giveaway, Katie. Oh, it really was. And we have to thank Grandma for finding that giveaway. She was the one that got up really, really early and fought all of her uh, neighbors at the retirement center for that brooch. So she went down and by golly, she was determined to get it. And she was so pleased to bring it to me. So grandma, great job. You, you did wonderfully well. Hello, Elizabeth KH. Elizabeth KH, welcome in. Adam says, did I buy the radium glass brooch a couple of months ago? The radium glass. I think you did, Adam. I think you did. Adam, just to be on the safe side, if you could um, send through your address details, that would just be appreciated. John, Bo, so cool to have you here. It's so nice to have new people. It really, really is. Yes, it is. It is so nice. Yeah, and, and Amy is. says you really do a beautiful job of packaging them. And she saves them. And people say that, that they save the packaging, they save the pouches, they save the... Um, wax seals as well and i think it's Nettie that takes all the wax seals and puts them in her little jar like a, a, a junk jar or something which i think is really cool thanks very much adam really cool. thank you adam i appreciate that that really does help us out but what a great win yes grandma's so funny she's like ah oh, it's so cutthroat you know she, she's like all the people go in there and they're grabbing and they're grabbing and they're they want all the things too. So I'm down there and I'm doing my best. And I can just pick <laughs> them up, you know, all the people with their walkers, you know, down there and they're waiting. And she's like, and they're, they push. They're like, she goes, they push you to try to get in the door. And, and when they unlock it, man, it's, it's a madhouse. She's so cute. And then she's, I just picture her with her little sack and her little walker. And she's like, you know, getting in there, trying to get all the good stuff for me. So grandma's the best. She really, and, and that brings her so much joy. And of course she does a great job with our ribbons every week. She's my official ribbon tire for all of your packages. She takes such pride in all the ribbons and always is asking me, are they tight enough? Do they look good? And she does a great job. So we, we have fun with that. And um, Jamie is the absolute queen with those wax seal guns. She does such an incredible, she's so creative. It's not just the wax seal and the, and the stamp. She does so many other things to coloring them and putting things behind the wax. It's incredible. It is. Mom's all into the, well, we both are and I do them too, but mom's brought the wax seals from here to like a whole nother level. She's got stickers for them. She's got, you should see guys, I want to take a picture of this. We have two bins in my office that is nothing but wax sealing supplies, big bins. And we've got all kinds of little organizers and she brings them out to the counter and, you know, she'll say, so I, I write on the bottom of the boxes so I know whose who's boxes is what. And she'll say, okay, 
this is Poodle's box, or this is Amy's box. So what do they like? What colors? Do you think they'd rather a dog, or would they? are they a cat person? She asked me all these questions, and I try my best to, to do a design that I think you guys would like if I, if I know you and I'm able to do that. And she just spends a great deal of time on it, and it's very therapeutic for, for her, and it's fun that we can share it together. So, yeah, that's so good. Yes. Yeah, I know. You got a cat sticker, Angela. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, not right. to diss any other sellers, but I think we possibly blow, you blow every other seller on YouTube absolutely out of the water with the efforts that you go to for the packaging. And oh, it's yeah. that whole thing. We, Katie and I talked about it, and it was like we want this experience to be more than just buying in the sale that when you get a package from us you're going to be really excited to open it it's got the the sticker the vintage and vinyl sticker on it and the whole experience of opening that package is going to be just as exciting for you yeah we really want to carry the experience from the live sale to your door and i'm a big believer in packaging and how happy it can can make you and packaging makes a difference you know nate sends a lot of wonderful things my way that that he's adding to his collection or he's buying for sales and so i spend a lot of time looking at packages and you know i, I hate to be judgy about packaging because you know everyone's doing their best and sometimes i look at things and i think this is just there was no care or love yeah into this yeah. it was i have 55 orders that are going out today and this gets shoved in a bubble mailer with no packing no label to say who it's from and you know hopefully it makes it and it's so nice when you get those packages where you can tell people put in a little something extra or taking time to write a note or yeah. you know at very minimum label but you know what business it came from because what if i wanted to buy from them again and i i didn't i didn't remember when i bought and yeah. then now suddenly i got this unmarked package and i can't figure out where to go back to and i just i i spend so much time studying this packaging and i just think it's so important it's not only a mission to make people smile and to bring happiness and joy through mailing and through a little thing that you guys ordered well, also just the, the whole branding of it, I think, is a wonderful thing. Yeah. And the homeschool loses. I'm opening one of the packages from you currently. Oh, I think that's so that, you, that really beautiful sterling chain, that incredible quality sterling chain, I think you purchased from yeah. us. Yes, it is that wonderful and time for Easter. Okay. So I am going to start this next necklace off. In the chat, oh, Angela. Carly, Carly says, I've reused some of the wax seal boxes when I sell items and have gotten compliments. That's so oh, cool. Carly, Yay. that makes me feel so happy. Yay. <laughs> the red package is always a tip off to my husband that I pour myself something. <laughs> that, that's true. I don't vary the red, the red bubble mailer. So it is a telltale sign that uh, you are getting some vintage and vinyl happy mail. All right, so uh, I'm going to start this next beautiful piece here uh, off at, let me find this, where did this go? Um, let's see, I wrote that in the wrong spot, I believe. Yes, I did. I, I, I put that in the wrong spot. Where did that go? I'm sorry, folks. Just a minute. I wrote that in the wrong spot. Okay, so this is this now. All right. This is going to start off, Angela, at $20 in the chat. And this is another lovely necklace from the lady I told you about who I was able to buy some things from. She tells me that this also came from Germany, and it is a stunning necklace with these little glass cabochons and it has those beautiful dangle on it. It is so sweet and springy and lovely. And I'm going to get this on Blanche. That would match those, that bracelet and um, that bracelet mm -hmm. earring set or bracelet ring set that you sold before. The bracelet and earring set. Yes. It's yeah. very similar, but he, she said that he got them on two different trips. And the green color and that light peachy pink is amazing. And it's got the dangle coming down. It's 18 inches. So it's a really good size. And the great thing about this, guys, is it is adjustable. So this is so, so nice. 
So it is adjustable. And you can tell, again, the quality of these pieces because the back of the adjustable piece has a little finishing detail, which just, I when necklaces do that, because you're really not going to see this that often, you know, as a wearer, but even someone walking behind you is going to notice this little detail. And when I see that on jewelry, I think, man, this was expensive. This was John, quality. John Clavier asks, does that one glow? And Joe says she took very good care of her jewelry. Yeah, you've got to take good care of your jewelry. She really did. And when she brought out the jewelry to show me, she had taken such pride in getting it out. She had everything in an individual little box. I mean, it was really fantastic. And um, she and she knew where everything was. She had all the paperwork. Everything was labeled. Look at that. I mean, can you not? That is just stunning on. And I love that it came from around the, oh, yes. Yeah. Yep. It's got yeah, there's some world. real glow there. Look at it. Well, that's well, really well. strong. That's a really strong uranium content. That is beautiful. Yeah, that's got a little bit of a glow. Talk about stunning. Monica says, Katie, off subject, but what is the brand of suitcase that you love? You have a brand of suitcase and bag and purse that you love, and I can't remember what it is. I am very loyal to this one particular brand. I am not sponsored, but I love Tumi, T-U-M-I products. They are not, you know, your run-of-the-mill Samsonite. Uh, actually, Samsonite owns them, but they are built to last. And I have had my Tumi suitcase. I bought every Tumi piece I bought. I've either gotten it on sale, I've gotten it at the outlet, or I bought it on eBay secondhand. I've never paid full retail for Tumi. But that suitcase I have has been literally all over the world with me, and it looks brand new. I've had it, I've had that suitcase probably over 10 years, and it's still got a lifetime warranty on it. So Tumi, their zippers are made to break away. That's another thing, too, when they run, if you have to check a Tumi bag, the zippers are made so that if they did get caught in the machines, the zipper pull would break away, but it would not break the zipper. They, I mean, the design details, I have never used a bag that is better in my life. The quality, all uh, um, wonderful ballistic nylon. Some of them are, are uh, the Teflon. Uh, it's the stuff used in Tegris, Tegris material and race car, NASCAR helmets for protection. That's the same stuff they use on Tumi suitcase. You can throw it at a five-story building and it would survive. I mean, I, anyway, I could talk about Tumi all day and that's not why we're here. So I'm just, will, <laughs> I will um, shut up and move on to the necklace now, but their stuff is great. Yeah. Anyway, great stuff. This has, oh my gosh, the glow. That's so, such a strong glow. The, holy cats. Oh my word. Wow. Yep. That has got some major glow, folks. Okay, so Blanche has taken, Blanche has left the building again. She took a little tumble. She's kind of tall and easy to knock over. So I've got to, I've got to move her during the sales. Um, but actually we can get, Get this on our hand display. How about that? Oh, isn't that, oh, that, looks cool. that looks really great. We're going to start the countdown here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid in. This looks so good. I'm loving this new display. I think that's really a great, great piece. Ah, Smalls is here. Hiya, Smalls. It's a lovely spring look you had today. The lavender really does suit you. Fantastic. Wow. There's the sold. All righty. That is a great, great necklace. That's it, Kelly Smith. Congratulations, Kelly. You are going to absolutely love that one. Yeah, that is a great buy. It is an exceptional quality. It glows like crazy. And what a, what a great get, Kelly. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, so let me write this down. And then we are going to, but it's going to the same persons that I, I swapped. So that's okay. But I will just make a little note here. 
Lena Ray is here, my Hi, Cherokee Lena. Rose. Hi, Lena. Lovely to see you. Hug hugs to you, Lena. All right. Well, I'm going to let Nate introduce, inter, introduce. I'm going to let Nate entertain the troops for a second. Uh, my computer charger is not in the office, and my computer is moments away from dying. So we need to rectify this quick problem. And Nate, do you mind uh, keeping up with the chat for a second? Yeah, yeah sure. Katie, you probably don't, but do you happen to remember if the necklace is in the box with the cat or the butterfly on it? I'd love to put the box straight in Lou's Easter basket. Let him open it. The cat or the butterfly? Ask her which one is heavier. Which which one is heavier, Lou? If the necklace is in the box with the cat or the butterfly on it. So which one of those is heavier? So while we're waiting for Katie, uh, feel free to ask anything. Ask me anything. doesn't matter how personal it is. If I don't want to answer it, I won't answer it. But, um, yep, I'm here. All right. We're all set and ready to go again. Phew, no questions. <laughs> I don't have to give any secrets away. That's good. Uh, I did. I I believe Lou. I wrapped that that necklace separately, and I do believe, if I remember correctly, I don't know which wax seal it was. I'm so sorry, but I believe it was the heavier of the boxes. All right. Fantastic. Butterfly is one point eight, and the cat is one point four. So it's probably the butterfly. It's, it's probably the butterfly. That's what I believe. <laughs> Come on, people! It's your chance. They missed their chance. <laughs> They had a good 30 seconds there to ask me anything embarrassing, and um, there were no questions. So, All right. For once in my life, I was fast. Can you uh, can you believe that, Nate? It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, it is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Nate, Nate knows I, I run on. What time do I run on? We would call it island time. We would call it island time because in the islands, the South Pacific islands, if you go to Fiji or Tonga or Samoa, you know that bus is scheduled for three o'clock, and it might be it might be there at three o'clock, and it might be there at half past three. It could be there at quarter to four, or even four thirty, or it might not come at all. That's that's <laughs> the island time that I run on. But my friends like to call it Katie time. I just run on Katie time. No, Gay says, "Oh, Nate, I should have offered to give up your secrets. You you can keep Stum, Gay." <laughs> All yeah, right. don't you give up my secret. <laughs> I don't really have any secrets, but. This next brooch is three inches, and it is starting off at $16, and this is just so cool. And, guys, it glows. This I, I, re I, I had to bid quite hard on this one, and, and $16 is basically what I paid for it. Um, it is such, I love this Egyptian revival jewelry and this is like a winged scarab with this fabulous and sort of dramatic pearl drop on um the bottom it is it, it, this sort of turquoise colored enamel is with the orange and the dark blue and the pink and the black it's a really effective piece um which parts of the um enamel glow on this i can't quite remember Let's see, Nate. The parts I believe that glow on this, yes. Yeah, so all of the orange, you guys see that all? Of, ooh, hang on. Let's see if I can. Let me turn these off for a second, guys, uh, <laughs> and that way we can see it. <laughs> Angela says, "If you're wondering if it's boxes or briefs, it's neither." Angela has seen me in my briefs. In is my, it showing my up? Uh, it is kind of, it's so hard to show on, on camera. It doesn't show up on camera, but these orange, beautiful enamel segments, guys, they glow like crazy. And I just cannot, for the life of me, get this to show up on camera. And I am so sorry. Uh, we, we As sellers, we're always battling that. And I don't know why some shows up better than others, but I think this is so cool. Look at that lustery swirl. 
and then enamel. Is that not fantastic? I don't see a lot of Egyptian revival um, brooches out there. I just really don't. And um, I jumped on this one because I just thought it was. And again, this was another one that I struggled to put in a sale or to keep because I just thought it was so, so interesting. Look wow. At you, Betty. Isn't that effective? Oh, you've pinned that at the perfect height. That is the absolute perfect positioning for that on there. Um, that bottom triangle is the perfect bottom of the clasp, and the pearl drops just amazingly. Yeah, that is. You've done that a great job of, um, of positioning that. And let's see if we can get just the right postcard for this. I tell you, I always need more postcards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh my god i've i've just turned the brightest shade of red <laughs> can you see the oh, elastic from his undergarments will be ten dollars off in the alley tonight <laughs> oh my god oh, i can barely breathe i've my face is glowing my face is absolutely glowing red that's so funny. <laughs> All right. Well, this is stunning. And we're going to start the countdown here on this. I think it matches the postcard perfectly. Oh, and it does. Yeah, that orange. Really is great in the shape, too. So here we are. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, bid end. <clears throat> oh. Where's that postcard from? Is it Cherokee, North Carolina? That is a great question, and I get that a lot with this postcard. So there was actually several Thunderbirds, and this was located in Jacksonville, Florida, um, and it's actually downtown, so I am kind of near downtown. So I'm going to go to this address. I want to type it in and drive by there. I don't think that this is still there. Uh, the building is, I don't think the sign is. I saw a whole like secret hidden Jacksonville thing on it. Uh, but that inspired me to get this postcard. But there are different Thunderbirds. And I think that there are some throughout North Carolina. So that's a chain of motels, is it? Yes, I believe it's an old 50s chain of motel. Oh. Um, so is that is sold. That goes to Lou. Thank you so much, Lou, and thank you everyone who is bidding on that. I, I'm I'm sorry, I only had one of those brooches. I'll, I'll ask my I, when I say my dealer, everyone laughs at me because it sounds like it's a drug dealer. It's not a drug dealer. It's my brooch dealer, and I'll ask my brooch dealer if she could possibly find another one of those for me. Um, if um, Greg um, and um, who else was bidding? Amy, if you're interested, I will try and find another one. All right, let's see. That is going to Lou. And I'm going to write that down. But that is a great brooch, Nate. You really knocked it out of the park with that one. I loved it. And you know, I was so reluctant to sell that too because it is so cool. much my vibe. It really is my vibe. So. <laughs> I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> that, I'm not Australian, Carly. I'm not Australian. Is that a dig? Because she must know I'm not an Australian and it That's me up. That must be a dig. Have you tried doing a Google image search for winged scarab? No, I am yeah, not I sure, but we should. Price dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I don't normally bring. <laughs> Carly was having a dig <laughs> at the Australian thing. Now I don't normally bring modern ish jewelry to the sale, but this lady had some really good quality pieces, and I I wanted to purchase as much as I could from her, and this was sort of inspired by my mom because, of course, she loves Brighton jewelry. Has always sung the praises of the quality uh, of Brighton. <laughs> we have a Brighton store at the town center, and I can tell you that a lot of Brighton jewelry sells for $60, $70, $80 brand new. 
So when I saw these pieces, I thought, you know, I got to get these because they are Brighton. They are quality. Brighton does a really good job um, finishing and doing all those details that I mentioned before that I look for on jewelry. And so for you guys tonight, I've got some Brighton. And if you've always wanted a Brighton piece of jewelry and, and can't spend the money on it, I am giving you the deal of the century tonight because you are going to get a chance to purchase the earrings and the bracelet in gold and silver tone. If we go on, Gaia said, if it was an Aussie, it would be pronounced dialer. And that is so right. In Australia, that would be like dialer rather <laughs> than dealer. Dealer, that's hilarious. Oh, hold on, hold on. I must, someone's at my door. Be back okay. in a second. All right. So uh, I have a brooch dealer too here in town, Denise. I love her. I call her my brooch lady, but she's wonderful. And let me, oop, hang on. I, I need the brooch putter on her. Not, I keep wanting to say brooch putter on her. I need the, I need, <laughs> I need this. Let me show you guys how this works now that we've got a moment here. So this is our, our, what everyone calls the roach clip. It is not the roach clip. It's really made for putting on jewelry, um, particularly bracelets. And it is so handy. So you just clip it on to the end of your bracelet. You can buy these on Amazon. Here's our lobster claw clasp. And then you just hold it as you see. Can you guys see that? I'm just holding it. And, and you saw me struggling with the bracelet. Of course, now I can't get the lobster claw. There we go. And look at that. Voila. So easy. That thing is super handy. So yay, Clippy. We love Clippy. But this is a beautiful Brighton set. Now there is a tiny, tiny bit of wear on the very last bit right there. I don't know if you can see that tiny little bit of wear there. But overall, this is in fantastic condition. You're getting the bracelet, which is just stunning. It is gold and silver toned. And I believe if you take any of your Brighton pieces, new or old, back into the Brighton store, they will clean them there for you. Has the signature Brighton card. <laughs> and then you will also be getting the earrings as well. So you're getting the earrings that match the bracelet. And I love these because let me tell you, when I travel, I have the hardest time. Nate knows this because he's helped me pick out brooches and things before. Coming up with pieces that are versatile that I can wear with many outfits and not having to pack a whole slew of excess jewelry. So what I love about these is they are so nice in the fact that you can mix and match these <laughs> down, wear them with a jean jacket, wear them with a dressier work outfit. And so you've got the earrings and the bracelet to match. So I am starting this Brighton set. Get ready for it, folks, because, well, it's a deal tonight. This uh, Brighton set is starting off at just, ready, 25 bucks. 25 bucks for the Brighton set. So that is a great, great buy. And let me show you, there's the Brighton mark on the back of the earrings. There we go. There's the earrings. And you are getting the earrings and the bracelet. And I will show these to you up close. So there's the design, signature little swirls and hearts. So pretty. And you've got that. And then you have the bracelet as well. And if you don't know Brighton, they make some really heavy, nice <laughs> quality jewelry. Uh, and their pieces are timeless. They're just very classy and nice. And I, I think they're great. Nate's brooch dealer. <laughs> it's, $6. it's true, guys. True that um, in Australia, I would say six. I would say six, and they would hear six. But when they said six, I would hear six. Six. Sorry. That's um, hilarious. So it, it's, it's it's very very odd. And and the word dick like a veranda. I was in a meeting and a, 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 a senior manager meeting and we'd moved into this apartment and I said, Oh, it's got an enormous deck. And of course they <laughs> heard deck is something completely different. And I remember my CEO just looking at me like, what the hell are you saying? And I said, Oh, the 
deck is huge. Oh my god! Like thirty people on this deck, and oh, it was the most embarrassing. The most embarrassing. I'd only oh been there god, like a so week hilarious. or something. Well, what, didn't you show me that? Oh, I we well, that's a little racy for this 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 chat, I think. But you showed me that commercial, the beer commercial that you guys have in New Zealand Do with the what? with the dancing lesson. Where it says inside her. Oh, the cider. The cider. But it oh, sounds it sounds that so that's way too racy. <laughs> that's very, very racy. But I'm sorry, I just that my brain. Oh me bragging about my enormous dick. And I t I swear to God, I went on for way too long describing this enormous dick that I had. Um Oh, it was that's so embarrassing. Yeah, that's hilarious, Nate. That is that story wins tonight. And also we have reached our after hours portion of the show. So I'm very sorry if you have grandkids still in the room, but um we we are definitely now 18 and up. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's after 12 anyway, so I think we're good. All right, now let's see. Karen Lord is at 30. So we're going to go ahead and start the countdown on our Brighton pieces here. And this again, folks, did come from that lovely lady that I met uh, via vid video chat in Ohio that just took such good care of her jewelry. And I, I just had to add this in um, with my little pile. I think it's wonderful. All right. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, bend. Yes, that's hilarious. All right. Yeah, all adults here. I figured at this hour, but you know, you never know. <clears throat> all right. Now, Karen Lord looks like I better not say Angela's going to be in there saying no. Yeah. Karen Lord. Congratulations, Karen. That is such a pretty set. That is a wonderful set, Karen. And you are just going to be so thrilled with that when you get it in person. And I love that you are carrying on the legacy of this wonderful piece from a very wonderful lady. Okay. Oh, I'm That's still it. glowing. Yeah. I'm absolutely glowing red. <laughs> the two of you are embarrassing poor innocent Angela. Oh, <laughs> Let me tell y'all, Angela isn't that innocent. She right? ain't that innocent. She ain't that innocent at all. No. Christy, now that's another story. Christy, Christy is, I will give Christy that, but not Angela, no. I pass a house with a sign in front advertising their business. Sexy deck refinishing. But the font was so cursive that the D and D looks like an I, and the guy has to know. <laughs> so there's a sticker, and you probably all know. Um, I'm so I know all of you guys know this brand, Salt Life. Nate, you may not know Salt Life. Have no, you heard no. of that brand? No, so no. they make clothing, and like uh, they do, they have a restaurant, Salt Life, and they've got shirts and everything. And my dad, plus dad, you know, we were driving in a car. He'd come down to visit me. And these stickers are all over cars here. But I got to say, like, whoever did the graphic design for these stickers did a horrendous job. Because it's a very cursive font. And if oh, you do a quick glance at it, it doesn't look like salt life. It looks like another very terrible word. That A looks like a U. Um. Uh, it, it's S H I and you can gather the rest. I don't want to get demonetized on YouTube, but dad asked me, he just came right out. My dad's like, I hate to say this, but, but why do people have blank life on, on their cars? Because that, that seems a little, and I just started laughing. I'm like, no dad, that's salt life. It's a company. They make shirts. And dad's like the light bulb moment in his, his eyes when that happened just cracked me up. 
I I was like, oh boy. So now every time I drive down to the beach and we go to the, the restaurant, Salt Life, they have great seafood. I can't help but laugh to myself. I'm like, yep, that, that's that's this restaurant. <laughs> I took my Midwest Catholic race husband to the red light district in Amsterdam because he oh, didn't man. believe me when I told him about it. That is an eye opener. Yeah, that's that, a real eye opener. Yeah. That won't that will be an eye opener for sure. Okay, so my next item. You can is, hear the unedited story tonight behind the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> behind the car wash. <laughs> okay. At the passion pit in the movie theater, the drive-in. Um all right, so my next item, uh, Angela, might be something you're interested in, and if you're not, no pressure, but I do keep on the lookout for all things butterflies for Angela and, of course, all of our other butterfly lovers in the chat, and I think this is a really fun set of earrings, and uh, they are pierced, which is wonderful. They, they This has a particular name, but it has one of those little, I'm just going to call it a loop. But it just hooks right in, so you can obviously wear these. And um, I think these are so cool. Now, these did come from my lady in Ohio. That's what they look like on. I do think that these are probably 1990s. They have that very, like, 90s aesthetic to me. But they are so fun for spring. And they are in magnificent condition. And they are starting off at just uh, $15 in the chat. If you're interested, they are really sparkly. Uh, this one got turned around, so let me show you. I put it on backwards. That's why it's, it's doing that. So you can see the back on one, and then let me show you this up close. Look at that. So they are just some beautiful. They are silver colored, silver toned, but they are not sterling. But they've got some really lovely sparkle to them, and they're just fun. You know, and if you've got a granddaughter that's um, of the age of getting ears pierced or grandson or you're going to a prom or you want something. Why am I putting these on backwards? No, I got it. You want to wear something fun with blue jeans in the summer. Just have a little whimsical look. They're really great and they're they're heavy enough for their quality, of course, but they're lightweight enough that they're not going to pull down your ears. And I really love that. And they're just kind of fun and they add a little bit of, of whimsy. And these, I think you could totally dress up, you know, and go for that kind of fun 90s prom look or dress down and wear casually with jeans. But they basically will go with everything, which is great. So we're going to start the countdown. I see you, Angela, at 15. Nate, can you put in the sold for me? Yep, absolutely. And there's an up close of them. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Uh, I do too. Long dangly earrings. Yeah, they just really accentuate the, the face and the neck and they do such a good job at kind of elongating your, your whole self. It's nice. Halt! Halt. And those go to Angela. Fantastic. I know you'd like those, Angela. I just kind of had a feeling about those for you. All right. They are headed your way. Great deal. Great grab. These will be fun. All right. Now, let's see what else we've got up for Nate here. Nate, I'm sorry. I think we just did two of mine in a row. I didn't mean to do that. No, that's all right. Brain shut off. Okay. Oh, yes. What a great piece this is. This is going to start off Angela at $28 in the chat. Let's get Bernadette out for this fabulous model. Actually, I'm sorry, Bernadette. We're going to re retire you for a moment for our new lady show you guys this here this is a, a, another um great quality italian sterling uh, uh bracelet um it's eight inches um so it's quite substantial 
Um, I don't know what this link is. It's flattened. It's squared. Um, it is uh, it's such lovely quality. Um, and again, this is what I paid for it. Um, I, I'm running low on sterling and I'm finding it more and more difficult to get. Um, it is it is a really lovely piece. It's totally unisex. Dude could wear it. A lady could wear it. Um, but it is really, really nice quality and such an unusual link that you will, you will not see somebody else with this link of, of a bracelet, I'm sure. Um, it's almost in focus. It's, it's just on. struggling to get into focus. All right, we're going to get this. Hang on. All right. Let me. Sometimes it's the light. And again, this when you yeah, would have been yeah. in a um, boutique, Italian boutique store, probably with a couple hundred dollar, hundred and fifty dollar price tag on it. It's such good quality. It's great quality. Um, I just, it's just such an unusual link how they've made this. I, I just don't understand it to be honest. Um, but yeah, and as I say, it's eight inches long, Italian sterling chain. Let me I'm going to try to show you this here. I'm trying to come up with creative ways to use our, our displays here so you guys can see a little bit how they, they go. This is actually fun if you wanted to mount this to the wall like this and then hang your, your jewelry off of that. That's a really great yeah. idea. But anyway, this bracelet, I was trying to describe this to Nate. As he mentioned, these are squared off, and it makes for just the most unusual and gorgeous links. So I'm going to try to. We are just having some real focusing. There we go. Oh, there we go. See how? Ooh, we almost had it, guys. Yeah, yeah. Almost. Oh, there we go. See. And this how? has got a lovely finish on it. It is so beautifully polished. It really. It does not need any further polishing. It is just, you can really see the and how unusual those square links are. See how it's, it's just amazing. It's trying to get it to rotate and focus, but. Yeah, yeah, almost like a squared herringbone. Yes, it a, is. Such, such, an unusual, it. such an unusual um, chain, it really is. And let me um, show you the Italian sterling mark. Um I know you guys trust us, and it is there. Sometimes the camera won't won't pick it up, but right, man, alive. There we go. See it? It's right there by this finger, and it's on the other side. So fantastic! And let me put this on for you guys, and then we will start the countdown, so you guys can really see what this looks like on. I was telling Nate, this is so stunning. It's very very easy to wear. And uh, I just, I love the quality of this and the shine. Oh, and I meant to tell you, Nate, and so we're, we're all having a fun chat. I was at this amazing estate sale the other day, uh, Mint Century Modern, and the guy that was in front of me happened to collect sterling, and he got his eight-year-old son into it. And so they go to estate sales looking for sterling and gold. He loves it polished. It must be polished. He uses Haggerty silver foam. Yep. The best. That's what the other thing that they're into, and they collect Ethiopian Willow opals. Oh. They love cut gemstones. They go to gym shows. They love Australian opals. They are upset. I mean, he was just like a doppelganger of you, Nate. I mean, if wow. they could put an American Nate in the states, this guy was was you. Like yeah, I love, I love the Willow opals. Willow opal is going to become really hard to get very, very soon. And Patricia thinks it says it's a modified box link. Box and that link. could that well be what it is. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, Whisper. Steel Whisper is here. Hi, Whisper. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Okay. So we're so, going to count this down. Adam, you've got the high bid right now at 28. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. It's really nice. Such quality, this. Yeah, and it's great quality. It's really good. Okay. 
Wow, that goes oh better wait. Better wait. Yeah, better wait. <laughs> All right. Bracelet, let's see. I am just not Trojan. Cool. That goes to Trojan. Thanks so much, buddy. That honestly, that is a steal of a deal. You 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 won't find a deal like that around often. Um, and thanks for your bid, um, Adam. Um, it, it is a it's a great piece. It's a it's an heirloom piece, really. Um, silver is always on the rise, um, and you're going to love it. It is such a quality piece of jewelry. As I say, it would have been an expensive piece in an Italian boutique jewelry shop. Um, so fantastic. Yep, and, and it is. It's a, a good size for a dude. Thank you so much. I'm sure you are going to love it. You will love it. It's fantastic. Great vibe. Okay. Nate, you better wait or we're going to have to get out the whip. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's frightening people. Okay, so we're going to do one more of yours, Nate, because I, I kind of cheated you out there. Not really. I mean, we'll all do them, but I yep. messed up the order. So this is um, a gorgeous piece next, starting at $16. And this is fun, Nate. Oh, this is um, Liz Claiborne. This is such a nice spring um, brooch. These, it, it's it's really spring. Uh, I, I like Liz Claiborne jewelry. I just think there's a certain elegance to the design, um, and it's it's a it it's, could be spring, it could be autumnal. Because um, that uh, orangey yellow color is a is a really nice fall color as well. But I love this combination of this yellow and the purple. I think it's just so pretty together. Such a pretty um, stone. Thanks very much, Trojan. I really do appreciate you. Um, and this is, it glows. It glows wildly. It yeah. just really glows wildly. Um, you can you can see it, but in person, this lights up like neon. Yeah, it is crazy. It lights up neon green. It's amazing. And even the pink stones have a little bit of glow to them. Isn't that wild? And this is new, uh, old stock in the box. Yeah, in the box. Originally at Dillard's. There's the proof of purchase sticker. And it was never worn. So you've got the box, the Dillard sticker. This probably would have been, um, gosh, at least 25 or 30 new at Dillard's, if not more. So I think this is a great buy. And the colors and everything about it is so yeah. perfect for this time of year. And what age do you put on this? Would you say this is an 80s piece? I would say 90s to 2000s. Right. Yeah. Based on the sticker on the back, because um, I remember my grandmother shopped a lot at Dillard's, and Dillard's was a good department store, and we would go in and pick out things for my mom to wear on air. Grandma was always really good at, at finding um, great suits and things on sale for mom, and she knew what mom liked, and we would go, and I remember those stickers very well, because she, she, man, grandma was a veteran at returning things. She was so good at bringing things back if they didn't work. And I remember that yellow sticker. We'd go back in there and return stuff all the time in the summer. Yeah, this is a great, this is a great piece. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I really like this piece. I, I jumped on this and I got this at a good price. And I think that I, that was why I can offer it at such a, a good price, mm -hmm. but it's such an interesting design. Uh, again, it's one of those times where, you know the designers really knew what they were doing because uh, aesthetically it's just so pleasing to look at. It really is. And the fact that it glows is just crazy. Yeah, it's just amazing. We're going to go ahead and start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yeah, I you know, I don't think I ever went into a Liz Claiborne store. I knew they had them, but that's very cool. Okay, we're going to wait and see who that goes to. And that is sold. And uh, let's see, Amy, you outbid yourself, so we don't allow that to happen on our sales. Nice. Yeah, I do love the two sizes of petals, too. I think that's really nice. 
Amy, thank you so much, Amy. That is a beautiful piece of jewelry. You will absolutely love it. Yeah, thank you, you so much. Love that too. All right, great buy. Let me get this back in the box. In the right bag. <laughs> Patricia says, "Poodle, meet you in the in the alley. I need a loan." <laughs> And Steel Whisper said she used to um, shop at Liz Claiborne all the time and she really loved it. Wow, that's incredible. I remember shopping. No, I'm thinking of Claire's. I don't know why my brain did that. We we used to go in Claire's all the time. Uh, okay, now my last item for the evening. No, I should have two. You should have two more, yeah. What happened here? Oh, they, they got they got down in here. Okay, now I was showing this to Nate before the show, and Nate goes, oh, man, that is such a rare piece of marble. And yeah, I this is really done, special, people. This is really special. I had already done some research on this and really couldn't find a whole lot, and so I'm going to let Nate kind of take over this one and tell you about it, but it is going to start a little higher. Nate told me. It was very good, and it's going to start at 35, and what it is, is you've got this wonderful case, and I know St. Patrick's Day just passed, but I feel like if you love Irish, Scottish, Celtic things, you can wear this all the time, so it's more Celtic than it is St. Patrick's Day, but you can put it away for next year, but you're going to get the case with the cool little shamrock on it, and it opens up to this really amazing brooch. Now, Nate, can you... Tell everyone what makes this piece so special. This is Connemara marble. This is the rarest type of marble there is. Um, it is from Ireland. It is um, on the Atlantic coast, the west coast, um, from the Connemara Hills. Um, and a lot of Irish jewellery has this stone in it, and they're often in shamrocks or the Harp of Erin, which is another iconic um, uh, image from um, Ireland. And um, this is uh, 14 karat roll gold. Uh, it is a really a rare marble. It's actually has, and it's it's made from pressure from limestone and um it has um serpentine in it which is jade so it's like a, like a jade marble and not only is this a, a, a rare stone but the quality of these pieces of Connemara is fantastic i've seen uh, very similar brooches and pendants um like this with poor, really poor quality Kaimara marble in them and um, they still sell for really good dollars. Um, it, this is so, so nice. It's still mine to this day, but this is a single source gem. This is a single... Maria! Maria Ramirez is here. Hi! Um, so it's a single source. It only comes from um, the Kaimara Hills um, uh, which is just outside of Galway, I think. Um, it is just, it is a, it's a beautiful material. It's an absolutely beautiful material. Um, it's believed through the findings of artifacts that um, uh, things made from Connemara marble go back into antiquity. Um, there are collections of pieces of hilts of knives and swords and various pieces of jewellery that have been made out of this. It was, um, it's now thought to have been considered like money, like, uh, uh, like a form of currency. It is just such good material. And um, Katie and I, as soon as she said, she actually said, is this Carrera marble? And I said, no, that's... Connie Mara marble, that's Irish marble. It is, it is, it's rare. Collectors want it. Um, and as I say, not only is it this wonderful quality marble, it is a really good example of the marble. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's love. And if you're into St. Patrick's Day, this is just a perfect piece. Mm -hmm. Or you have an Irish background or you love Celtic things, this is wonderful. 
Uh, I, I was really amazed when Nate told me this uh, uh, because I did not know. And I quickly read this, you know, I, I didn't um, sit and study it. And I was like, oh, career in Marvel, I, you know. And then Nate goes, no, 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 that's not it. It's this really amazing marble. And he started to tell me about it. And I was so fascinated. So, yes, and I do believe it has the holy um, trinity on both ends, which is also, I believe, there's a, a kind of a Celtic symbol like that, if that's not the same thing. John but, asks, is the Blarney Stone, Connie Marino, the Blarney Stone is a limestone. I'm pretty sure the Blarney Stone is actually a limestone, um, a, a mineral calcite. Um, but this is this is a great piece. This really is a great piece, and um, you won't come across it very often. And if you do come across it, jump on it, really. And it came. Uh, it comes in this, this beautiful box um, with the Irish clover on it. The not four leaf clover, but. <laughs> Clover, and I love that. So we're going to go ahead and start the countdown for Greg. Uh, he's at 40 right now. At 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yeah, the case is great to just display for St. Patrick's Day as well. And this is, this is a very heavy kind of plasticky leatherette case. But it is... Yep. A really, really nice. Really, I, could, really nice. I could go on talking about this material and the designs and the brooches and all that for ages. And I was just looking in the chat for Angela to say, shut up, stop waffling on, which she does when I get on to talks about things that I get really interested in. Um, but this is amazing. Uh, and Lou, congratulations, Lou. You are getting this and you will not regret it. That is mm -hmm. What a star. Of <clears throat> Let me tell you. And the presentation is lovely. You can't beat this. And, and Nate, thank you so much for educating us all on the new material that I did not know about, but I know now, and I'm going to be looking for more pieces. So congrats on that. And she lovely. says, I would never, when she, or she blatantly tells me to shut up and to stop waffling on when I get onto one of my little tangents, because I do just go... I, I just get so into it. I get so excited about talking about these sorts of things, about stones and minerals and gems and things. And I do know that I waffle on. No, but Nate, really, he's he's an educational wizard at this stuff. And, you know, he can explain things with gems better than I can. But I'm learning. I'm learning from him, which is great. Um, oh, who does that go to? That goes to homeschool, Lou. You're going to love that. That is such a lovely, lovely, my blood. <laughs> went up at that bidding there yeah. thanks everyone for bidding on that that, that katie's bought a a, tr a a fantastic quality item to the sale and i so appreciate katie for doing that i mean we we love bringing good quality stuff you know and we don't mind if we offer it and it sells for the same as we bought it for um we want to bring you good stuff we really really truly do we do, and I strive for that. And sometimes I, I do have to drive quite far to find find wonderful things, but that is something that I'm always committed to. This next brooch is great for spring and summer, and it is uh, three quarter, one and three quarter inches. I John <laughs> said, Angela may be procuring a ball gag. <laughs> Just <saying. laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I don't know why people like my accent. I really don't. It's a and I mean, I mean, I appreciate it, but I just, I, I just don't understand why people. Your like voice it. is amazing. I mean, even before I knew you personally, Nate, that I like, I know you now. I mean, I knew of you. You were a person in the chat that I would say hi to, and you said, "Oh, I have a channel," and you did a few videos. Oh, I yeah. would play your videos on repeat when I would go to sleep because I was like this voice. I don't know who this person is, but this voice would just was so relaxing to me. So I just let them loop. <laughs> I love I, this. I you, if I film something and I'm speaking, I cannot listen back to it. If I have to listen back to a sale, there's been times when Katie has said to me, oh, I, I don't remember which person got this item and, and I'll go on to the sale. I have to mute it. So I don't hear, I don't hear myself speak. I just cannot stand the sound of my voice and my accent. I'm so sorry, Nate. 
that you can't appreciate what we all love. But, you know, I think it's a very common occurrence that most people do not like the sound of their own voice. And I know from editing my own videos, I don't enjoy listening to myself back. Mm -hmm. All right. This next brooch I measured at one and three quarter inches in size. It's starting off at $12. It is beautiful for all of your summer weddings and really wonderful springy events. <laughs> Cases, don't worry, guys. I'll slap them for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I this I love. I, you know, I, I've always said I love a rhinestone and I love a faux pearl. This is again beautifully modelled. It's simple. It's elegant. Um, it's a it's a feminine brooch. Even a dude could wear this brooch, I guess. Um, but I I love this. This is my style of of brooch. I really do love it. And to me, Nate, this looks like you're on a store in Fifth Avenue looking yeah. at a white gold piece with diamonds and a real pearl. It is not any of those things, but it has that look. And the, the price is so great that you can look like a million bucks yeah. without spending a million bucks. And people are going to ask you, where did you get this great brooch? And they're thinking that you might say that you bought it at Tiffany and Companies, when in reality, you got it right here for a great deal on vintage and vinyl, which is exciting. And the but, way they've modeled that the, the, the petals as sort of this overlapping um, circle, um, it, it's, again, really cleverly modeled. It's beautifully modeled. And I, I look at this and I think, is, has, has this been modeled on a piece of Tiffany or, or something like that? Because it's just so incredibly elegant. And the you know, on a black dress. Oh, or a red velvet dress or something it would be just beautiful it really would be and even on a hat you know like that's just great on this hat for summer i i think it's wonderful my mom's been wearing a lot of brooches kind of pinned down here so on her shirt she'll kind of unbutton the first little bit and pin it here and if you had a v-neck that would look so good like some sort of a v-neck Kind of lower cut dress you can pin it it's it's just a, a really good brooch or even on a velvet choker or something yes. that looks so pretty okay well we're gonna go ahead and count this guy down at 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Bid in, yes, an LBD. Everybody needs an LBD and a, and a place to go um, to have a piece to go with their LBD. I do wear black hats, but, you know, I need the one hat that I'm missing in my hat collection, which is surprising I'm missing a hat because I have probably over 45 hats. As I don't have a solid black hat, that is a problem, and I need to get one. I have a beautiful black hat with that gold uh, uh, Greek key design on it, which I love. I've got a black hat that, that has a pattern on it that everyone all, whenever I wear this hat, people stop me and there's some designer. I don't know what designer it is because I don't know anything really about designer clothing, but, um, and I have a hat also that, that I wear that's not black, but everyone's like, oh, is that a Gucci hat? They all want to know. And I'm like, no, this is a $40 hat from Bruno Capello. And they're like, well, it looks like Gucci. So there's what's some the, brand that looks What's the that brand way. that has the Medusa head? Versace. Versace, Versace. uses a lot of um, Gucci motifs. Yeah. Uh, that goes to Amy. Thank you so much, Amy. You will love that. It is such a beautiful brooch. Yeah, I do. I need a, uh, I need a black hat. That is something I need. Um, I do have a black top hat though. I do have a black top hat and I have a red top hat and I have a gold top hat because everybody needs many different top hats. Okay. We've only got a couple of brooches left, I think. And yeah. one yet to be one item that didn't sell, um, the Italian chain, but, um, I think we're coming to the end and then there's a giveaway. So please stick around for the giveaway. Please stick around for that. Cause we got another great giveaway. Okay. <laughs> do they though? Do they? Yes, they do, Angela. 
Okay, so this next brooch and my last final brooch is a sterling brooch, and it is sterling and abalone, which is really great. Now, this was a grandma pick. She got up extra early to go down to the sale to find this for you guys and for me, and I just love it. And she she saw the sterling mark and was like, hey. And I, she's like, I think I got something. She was so excited about this, and she was right. It was sterling. So this is starting off at $22, and I polished it up. It's really pretty. I'm going to have to turn the lights around a little bit because I think that my lights are just so bright that the camera doesn't want to focus on the sterling. But it is polished up. There we go. And it's sterling and abalone shell. And it is really, really lovely. It's just a little leaf, you know? It's the kind of simple, sweet, and elegant brooch you just want to wear on your lapel or suit jacket or add to a hat. It's great. It's um we refer to it as power, um, power shell um here, and it's quite abundant. Uh, but power in the North Island has um a worm parasite which burrows in and actually ruins the shell. Uh, power in the South Island um is the shell quality is better. Um, but I understand that power is now, or abalone, as you would call it, um, is now illegal for capture um, in California because it is, um, yep, yeah, it's power. That's right, Gay, okay, yeah. Um, I don't think it is a New Zealand piece. I, th I think it's an American piece. Um, um, and in California, you can no longer f um, catch um, uh, abalone. Um, I've eaten it. It's not good. Uh, it's it's tough and um, it's definitely an acquired taste, but I don't think it's a New Zealand piece. And there is your sterling mark right there, sterling 925. And I did polish this up and Poodle lives in, in California. So, yep, she's saying you are right about that. I did not know yeah. that it was illegal. That's very interesting. Uh, certainly in the last 10 years, I think it's um, been um, banned from um, from being fished. I love this. Great little piece, and it was handpicked by my grandma, <laughs> which I love, Grandma Bev. So we are going to start the countdown here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and bid end. Night, Georgia. Sleep well. Um, Nate, Nate's used to that chicken nugget taste. Katie, <laughs> would you think, Gay, would you think that I would eat chicken nuggets? No. Nate could not be caught dead eating chicken nuggets. No. That, no. Thanks, Georgia. She not only accused me of doing it when I was eating my chicken sardine skewers she told everybody in the chat that i was eating not chicken nuggets chicken nuggies chicken nuggies which that just makes it <laughs> that just makes it worse gay says hell no <laughs> <laughs> all right that is going to you greg for 30 dollars. fantastic pickup. congratulations greg that's a really nice piece thanks to everyone who was bidding on that yes wonderful 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 Okay, now we are going to do our last item here. And I love this piece because I just envision this with a white classic button-up shirt, yeah. rolled-up sleeves, this bracelet, some jeans, a really pair of smart loafers, and you are just ready to go out on the town effortlessly. This is going to start at $15. This, I love this. I, I, this is just the two-tone gold. This screams 80s to me. I'm not sure what you think, mm -hmm. Katie. I agree. Very 80s. Um, I, I love the design. It's got a really strong snapback to it. Um, and this is what I paid for it. Yeah, 15 is what I paid for it. And it is such a glamorous look, and I agree totally. A starched white um, shirt, blouse, rolled-up sleeves, um, maybe a, a scarf at the neck or something. It is 
just such an elegant look. It really is. And I love the nautical, like big chunky yeah. work jewelry. I think that's so smart. It really elevates your look. And this is nice. This will fit any wrist because it does have that uh, wonderful spring closure in the back. And it's just so easy to throw on and go out the door. And it, and it just elevates everything you've got on. It's such a statement piece. Uh, it is in such beautiful condition. It almost looks like it's never been worn. Um, it is so interesting. And, um, yeah, I think it's a really beautiful piece of jewelry. It is. It's so stunning. We are going to get this on Bernadette. And then, oh, hang on a second. I got an idea. Let's see. Oh, this might work not as well on our hand display, but there she is on our hand display, which is to be named. And then we have our Bernadette here, which has our beautiful, beautiful piece. So we're going to go ahead and start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Hi, Kathy. My friend Kathy Biller is here, and she Hi, says, Nate, Nate eats ducky nuggets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> okay. And there's the sold. And then we're going to see who that goes to. That is really, really beautiful. Okay, that goes to, we have quite the lag tonight, my mind. Yeah. Heather! There goes to Heather Elizabeth. I think that might be the first thing I've sold to Heather Elizabeth. That's a great buy, Heather. Um, that's what I paid for it, and I thought it was cheap when I when I bought it, to be honest. Um, so you're going to love that. I, I, it's a great look. And I think you'll absolutely rock it. Yes, I think so. Now, folks, before we do our last giveaway, just in case anyone came in late and is interested, we do have a, two little things still available. Uh, the first being this wonderful Sterling comedy, dramedy mask, com comedy Wow, well, it's tragedy, really, tragedy comedy, comedy yeah. and tragedy mask. Oh, it's so late. Okay, well, we have this wonderful sterling mask brooch, which is not showing up on camera. I had issues with it with it earlier. Let me do this. But this, if you are interested in it, is just $35. And I polished it. It is sterling and it is really cool. $35 for this. If you're interested, just type mask. If you're interested in the chat. And then uh, we also have, wow, that lighting's funky now that I've turned off my lights. We also have the um, Vermeil chain, sterling, Italian, and 24 inches. This is $38, and you can type in chain if you are interested in this or watching I'm kind of surprised this one didn't sell because I, I thought the price point was extremely good. I'm, I might just end up keeping this one if it doesn't yeah. sell. You um, might. It, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful chain. All righty. Well, that is it for tonight, folks. But we do have one last little hurrah. We have a giveaway. So it is time for that giveaway. And uh, what we've got is a very 19... The price on the, the necklace, uh, it was just um, $38 if you're interested, Angela. $38. Just put in a uh, chain and, and we'll get you down for that if you would like. It's a really quality piece. Okay, so our last giveaway for the night is this really fun Burlwood 1970s lacquered brooch with the rosette on the front. Just very fun, very 70s, and very neat. Okay. So how, Nate, can these beautiful people right. win this? 
Okay, this is the last item, the last giveaway. You don't need to have purchased anything throughout the sale to enter the giveaway. I'll give you a number range, um, and you just need to guess the correct number in the chat. It could be the high or the low number of the number range. Uh, you can enter as many times as you like, as many guesses as you like, but just one guess at a time. Uh, the number range for this last giveaway is between... 10 and 30 between 10 and 30 good luck good luck folks that is a fun last giveaway very 70s very handmade love the burl wood on the back and the little flower rosette on the front it is so much fun i love that okay let's see and then numbers are flying in okay let's have a look Okay. Oh, I think I see who gets it, but I'm going to let Nate. Nate is our resident expert with the giveaways. Hey, hey Nate, do you remember the Kari Burb brooches that was so popular? The think the 70s usually. I'm not sure I do remember those, Gay. I'm not sure I do remember them. If you find one, send me a picture of it. Um, let's see. I still haven't um I still haven't seen it yet. I oh I, I, I think I've seen it. I'm gonna message you again on private chat okay. just to make I sure for that. Um is that who you see? Okay, let me see. Yes. It is. Okay. And the number was 19, and the winner is Smalls. That is right. Smalls. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations, Smalls. You win this fabulous 1970s brooch that is coming to you. What a great win. All right. Well, guys, that is everything for tonight. And boy, what a fun and amazing sale it has been. And we couldn't do it without all of you here in the chat hanging out with us. I just so appreciate Nate doing this with me every week. I'm honored to have such an incredible selling partner who always brings some of the very top quality items that we can, can bring to the sale. And uh, I just uh, love you all so much. And thank you for being here. It is very late on the East Coast, so I'm, I'm slowly not making sense and falling asleep. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we are going to end the sale uh, here. But I look forward to seeing you all next week at our bling party at 10 o'clock Eastern, same time as always. Nate, thank you so much for being a part of this. Do you have anything coming up? Uh, thank you. The thanks go to you for all the work that you do. I'm just a disembodied voice no. um, making little sense and waffling on in an accent that people can barely understand. Um, but thanks to you, I so appreciate you having me on your sales and doing all of the invoicing and all of the packaging for me. Um, you're truly a wonderful friend. Um, uh, I don't have very much coming up as, as, as usual. I'm posting the, my latest stones on Instagram if you want to check them out. I have a lovely 30-carat... Um, drunken laser cut green topaz coming up tomorrow that is a beautiful stone um but that's about it well that's wonderful uh so check nate out on instagram because he really does have some good quality stones and things that he shares and uh i've got some more things coming as well i've got a video coming out this week finally i know you guys have all been waiting for a video uh, from this amazing estate sale. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And I've still got my Gainesville shopping trip uh, that I took everybody on uh, that I have not posted yet either. So I've got some really fun content coming up. But there's always... And when are you going to post the clock? Oh, the clock the is clock. coming tomorrow. Oh, people, you have got to, you've got to tune in to see this mid-century clock that Katie has, has got. Um, 
um, when I saw it, I completely flipped out. You are going to lose your mind over this mid-century clock. And she got it at such an amazing price. I would have paid triple for it. It is it is the mid-century modern distilled into this beautiful wooden wall clock. You, you're going to lose your mind, people, when you see it. I certainly did. And let me tell you, I got so lucky to scoop that clock up because I was not early. I did not camp out overnight like all of the other nine people that were there when I rolled up. And then right after me, there was probably at least 45 people in line at this estate sale. And I mean, it was a time capsule home. I mean, they yeah. had the fiberglass lamps and the uh, Hollywood Regency style mirrors and wallpapers and lavish, lavish furnishings, burlwood, big mid-century dressers, gorgeous couches, uh, chairs. I mean, it was amazing. And the one clock I wanted sold within the first three seconds, or so I thought of the estate sale. And I, I had kind of just, once the lady told me it was gone, I was like, well, I'm just going to walk around and film and look at stuff and hope I find something else. And I came right around the corner for my second loop of the living room. And there she was on the ground with a price tag. Now, preface to this, before I got into the estate sale, the estate sale uh, company came out and made a massive ordeal. And it was raining outside, so we were all laughing, like, please just let us in. But she said, you know, if you pick up anything, you take the price off of it, you've already bought it. It is yours. You cannot pick stuff up and carry it around unless you were going to buy it. Please don't do that. You got it. You know, they were very, because everything was so nice. And this guy picked this up and he thought it was going to be made out of brass. It wasn't. And he just set it back down. And I came around the corner just right as he set it back down. And I'm like, oh, you're not getting this. And he goes, oh, no, not if it's if it's this composite material. And he's like, it's just junk. And I'm like, uh, it is most certainly not junk. And I will take that very much. Thank you. And I carried it around like a little baby the rest of the entire estate sale. <laughs> it's wild. It's absolutely, when I, when I saw it, I, I flipped. I thought that is just incredible. It's going to blow your mind, people, when you see it. I I, I saw it and I thought I, I would have been all over that. I would have wrestled that clock out of your clenched fists at that. <laughs> if I didn't know you and if I was at that um, estate sale, incredible clock. Okay, I'm, I, my phone is back up and running now. So I'm going to um, go ahead and zoom in and show you the clock, folks. You get a sneak peek for being here. Look at this. It is just, it is the most amazing, brutalist piece. Look at it. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. You know, if that clock doesn't work, I would shove another couple of hundred dollars into it to make it work, mm -hmm. honestly. And it does work. It has its its mechanism in the back, and I just need to put a new battery in it. But that was amazing. Um, I could not believe. And it is just, and so that is something I am in haw about whether or not I'll sell it because it, it is in the mid-century Mecca worth a, a little nice chunk of change. But right now I've already got it hanging up in my office above a uh, hundred year old wood desk and I can look at it um, from my, my viewpoint and it makes me so happy. So I don't think it's, it's going to be sold. I'm yeah. definitely, this is my forever piece of, of mid-century modern. So yeah. yeah it's, inc it's incredible. Uh, if you're ever going to sell it, I, I want to be offered first options, yeah. even though it would cost an absolute mint to send it to me. It is a, a, a mid-century modern statement piece. And just look how big it is. I mean, look at it. like that's almost my whole self. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I'm going to definitely keep it. I, I worked hard and fought for that clock. <laughs> Got up early. I drove an hour out of town just for the, the sheer chance of purchasing the clock and all the other amazing things they had. Uh, they had four other Starburst clocks, which I was not first. I did not get the other Starburst clocks. I was not first. Um, but they just had so many cool things. And so I can't wait to share it. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for us tonight. And uh, I will see you around on YouTube and on Instagram. 
I know I was so excited. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I was. I was like, oh, yeah, that was just the, the icing on the cake of my entire week. <laughs> um, then I will uh, talk to you all soon. But I hope, as always, folks, that you will save that vintage, spin that vinyl, and bench YouTube. Bye-bye. Turtles, poodles.